Network alongside Tim Smith. I'm Hal Everson to bring you the call. Galax football tonight. So we've got about 187 hopefuls out of 307 teams in the state of Virginia all vying for uh, six uh, state championship trophies. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. will be the 1A first round playoff matchup out of Region 1C. Galax and Bland County for the first round tonight. So we can't look ahead if we get George with or we got to travel to Narrows in the state quarterfinals. We're going to talk all about that uh, throughout the course of this game here tonight, but we got to focus on Bland County tonight, a team that we faced two weeks ago. And we'll tell you more about that matchup and uh, the all time series uh, between these two teams and some many other great things. To talk about here uh, ahead of this matchup tonight. First round of the playoffs, Galax and Bland County, your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. Some of the most enjoyable activities that can be experienced are simple ones, a ride down a country road, a delicious meal, a glimpse into culture from long ago, and the music of the mountains. These are some of the simple pleasures you can experience with a visit to Galax, Virginia. To learn more about the many fun things to do in Galax, stop by the Visitor Center at 110 East Gratian Street, or visit us on the web at visitgalax.com. Proud sponsor of Maroon Tide Athletics and wish all of our sports teams the best of luck this season. We are broadcasting to you live tonight from your Twin County Tire and Automotive Broadcast booth. Winterize your vehicle today. Get your next set of tires from Twin County Tire and Automotive, locally owned and operated full service facility. Full range of automotive services available to you if you need new tires. If all major brands for all makes and models. Located at 103 West Webster Street, downtown Galax, right across from the police department. Call them today to schedule your next appointment, 276-236-0007. Again, 276-236-0007. This is your Chick-fil-A of Mount Airy Tide Tailgate Show. We do have your Chick-fil-A of Mount Airy Trivia Challenge question coming up, so stay tuned for that. Your chance to take home this week's Maroon Tide Family Tailgate Package. Compliments of Chick-fil-A Highway 601 in Mount Airy, the official tailgate sponsor of the award-winning Maroon Tide Sports Network. Tune in every Friday night during the pregame show for your chance to compete in the Chick-fil-A Trivia Challenge to win the Chick-fil-A Tailgate Package, which feeds up to eight people, valued at $60. Everybody likes free food. And uh, that pregame show is at 6.30 every week. Chick-fil-A, Highway 601 in Mount Airy, Eat Mo Chicken, Roll Tide. So make tailgating, team celebrations, parties, and other occasions extra special with Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is the easy choice, offering a selection of fresh, delicious food and party platters for your occasion and guests. Chick-fil-A ensures that your order is correct, ready to be picked up or delivered. Put your game face on and score big at your next tailgate party event with crowd-pleasing favorites from your tailgating headquarters, Chick-fil-A, Highway 601 in Mount Terry. Eat Mo Chicken. Keys Incorporated tell the tape as we preview this matchup tonight. Keys Incorporated serving our community for 25 years with prompt professional service. Keys Incorporated has complete septic service like pump and repair, and we manufacture septic tanks. See us for excavation and land clearing, ditching and ponds site prep, installation of new tanks and field lines, and sewer line repairs. Keys Incorporated has same-day service to commercial and residential customers in Galax, the Twin Counties, and the surrounding area. at 276-236-9277 today. That's 276-236-9277. Well, this is the first ever playoff meeting between Galax and Bland County. They are foes of the Mountain Empire District. Galax leading the all-time series 19-7, to and they have won uh, a total of, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine straight matchups against the Bears. Going all the way back to 2009, the last Bland County win was 2008, a 19-8 to victory. So Galax leading the all-time series 19-7. to Most recently, two weeks ago, a 75-7 to shellacking. Uh, on the road uh, against the Bears. So uh, first time the two teams have ever met in the playoffs. This is the Region 1C first round playoff matchup. Number two, Galax, seven and three against number seven, Bland County, three and seven on the year. Now, of course, Galax suffered a setback last week to close out the regular season. We feel like that's going to be good for the Maroon Tide's chances. Go ahead and get that loss out of the way uh, and then get focused and set ready for the playoffs here and pivotal games coming up. Uh, but you got to focus on the Bears tonight. But Galax did fall last week to Grayson County, 21-20. to Galax had a 14-7 to lead. They regained the lead after a 7-7 halftime score midway through the third quarter. Held on to it 
until close to the end. 120 left to play. Grayson County scored and uh, tied the game at 14, throwing it to their big receivers, and uh, paid off for them. So that tied the game, and uh, the Grayson County defense was able to stop Galax. Forced overtime, the two teams exchanged touchdowns in the OT, the extra period, and Galax elected to go for two, and they came up short. They threw a play-action pass to the end zone, and it was dropped by Landon Dixon, and Grayson County held on for a huge, huge win. Uh, that was a big win in that rivalry matchup between the two teams. So Galax will have to build off the loss, get ready for the playoffs tonight. And uh, so Coach Dixon, he talked about it, how Galax was exposed. He compared Grayson County to Glenver, a team that Galax lost to in the first round that they're that, or excuse me, the first uh, game of the season, opening game of the year. And um, so he compared him to the likes of the Highlanders. He said, feels like Grayson County is going to go pretty far. They drew a tough matchup for the first round in number three Ridgeview at nine and one, but he feels like the way they spread you out and then the way that you, you don't know what they're going to do offensively, that that really can get the Blue Devils far. Uh, they mix it up uh, running and then their uh, passing attack, and they've got weapons down the field. They can just throw that fade route, and uh, those receivers will go up top over the defenders and catch anything. So. And when you got a good running game and then you mix it up with the passing game and a stout defense, that can bode well. They could pull off the upset. Pay attention to that game, Region 2D, first round uh, coming up uh, tonight. So that is a little uh, tell the tape preview into tonight's matchup. Of course, Galax defeating Bland two weeks ago, 75-7. to They had a 68 to nothing halftime lead. And uh, just to let you know, uh, just how strong of an offensive game that was for the Maroon Tide. Six scoring possessions of either one or two plays in that game, and only one of Galax's ten first-half touchdowns took as many as four plays. So they were that dominant. You had the pick six from Josh Sperlin in that game. The end around, Dixon scoring that one. Uh, that was the first touchdown. Dougie had five scores by halftime on the ground attack. So a lot of good things happened for the Maroon Tide in that last game against the Bears. So that's your tell the tape preview into tonight's matchup. When we come back, your trivia challenge question, compliments of Chick-fil-A, and you'll be the first caller there with the correct answer, and you'll win this week's Maroon Tide Family Tailgate Package. And later on, we're going to hear from head coach Mark Nixon, and we'll also have your starting lineup. Stay tuned for that. Galax football, the City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week, first round, Galax and Bland County here tonight as our pregame show rolls along on WCGX. Back after this. Are you panicking over just what to do for this year's holiday parties? Or perhaps it's a reunion, important meeting, or a special birthday. Would you like to invite family or friends over, but you just don't have the time to prepare the type of delicious food that you would be proud to serve? Well, you can stop that panicking right now. Whatever the occasion, Aunt B's Catering has the perfect solution. With their extensive catering menu, Aunt B's can fix just about any delicious dish that your heart desires. Whether it's mouth-watering sirloin steaks, succulent prime rib, Aunt B's famous barbecue, sliced pork loin, your favorite chicken or pasta dish, or a variety of vegetables, Aunt B's Catering has you covered. And let's not forget those yummy desserts such as fresh berry cobblers and banana pudding. So for your next gathering, call the experts at Aunt B's Catering and relax. Your food will be fresh, on time, and at a price you can afford. Call Aunt B's Catering at 336-789-789. 0388. That's 336-789-0388. 336-789-0388. Or online at antbeesbbq.com. That's antbeesbbq.com. Did you know that Twin Count... Leland Galax, Virginia is a Joint Commission certified primary stroke center. They offer top-notch service for both diagnosing and treating stroke patients. Emergency service personnel are on hand to perform rapid identification of a stroke, and skilled neurologists have access to the latest telemedicine equipment. For additional information about Twin County Regional Hospital, a Duke LifePoint Healthcare affiliate, call 276-236-1612. That's 276-236-1612. Blind Glen Funeral Home. 
Yvonne Gwen McGrady Chapel of Hillsville are proud sponsors of the Galax Marine Tide Sports Programs. They've been serving the community since 1913 in your family's time of need, offering pre-planning, traditional services, and cremation. Call 276-236-2442 or 276-728-2041. Von Gwen Funeral Home and Von Gwen McGrady Chapel. We're there when you need us. It's time now for your Chick-fil-A Trivia Challenge question of the night. All right, be the first caller to 276-237-7981. 276-237-7981. If you can correctly answer the score between Galax and Bland County, who won that game two weeks ago, and how many rushing touchdowns did Dougie Peoples have at halftime? All right, so how many rushing touchdowns did Dougie have at halftime? Who won the game? And what was the final score between Galax and Bland two weeks ago when those two teams met in the regular season? All right, call us now, 276-237-7981, and we're looking for a new winner this week. And uh, you'll take home that Maroon Tide Family Tailgate Package. Everybody likes free food. It's valued at $60. You redeem that certificate there. And it has all kinds of great food selections you can choose from. So give us a call right now. Who won the game? What was the score between Galax and Bland two weeks ago? The two teams met in the regular season. And how many rushing scores did Dougie have? All right, enjoy now the pregame interview with head coach Mark Dixon. Join with Galax head coach Mark Dixon as we get you ready for kickoff tonight between the Maroon Tide and the Bland County Bears. First round of the playoffs, coach, your team suffered a heartbreaking 21-20 loss to Grayson County, closing out the regular season this past Friday night. Characterize the play of your team in that ball game. Really happy with the overall play of the team. I thought uh, Grayson had a great game plan, and, we, and I could have done a better job of trying to create some things uh, offensively, uh, maybe in the passing game to help us out some. And then certainly defensively, I thought Grayson did a good job of staying on the field and keeping our offense off the field. We have to do a better job on uh, third down defense. And uh, part of doing a better job on third down defense is getting it in third and seven or eight. And they spent the whole night, it seemed like third and three, third and two, third and four. And we just couldn't get them off the field. Now, overall, what were you most proud of despite the loss to the Blue Devils? I think all the young kids. I think when I look at who was out there and you look at you got two starting ninth grade linebackers the whole off the whole offense is pretty much ninth and tenth grade and to see them compete against a really good physical football team for four quarters and have an opportunity at the end to win it i think it's leaps and bounds where we were from glenver game and i compare grayson to glenver pretty physically about i mean i think grayson's that good and so i think i can see how far we've come physically to be able to compete and hold up. So that excites me for our young guys to have matured that much since week one. Defensively, challenges were there all night long trying to stop their big play receivers. 6'3", 6'2", got a lot of height on them, Phillips and McPherson. So talk about that. Yeah, I thought at the, end of the, at the end of the game, when you look at their three touchdowns, there are three jump balls. And their kids jumped up and made plays. And, uh, and I think it's good for our team to realize at some point, in tight games, somebody's got to make a play. Somebody's got to make one. Certainly, Dougie's going to make his fair share of plays. Uh, and But we have to have other people step up. I thought Grayson had their quarterback step up and both receivers step up. So that's three that stepped up. And we certainly had kids that stepped up, but I thought they were really consistent all game. Uh, you look at the three jump balls, but how many first downs on hitch passes? Third and three, third and four, they throw a hitch. and. Tanner, Seth go seven or eight, nine yards to get him a first down. So I thought that was a good example for our kids of really focusing on third down defense and the ability to make a play to keep a drive going. I thought they made a ton of plays, and uh, I think that's what I take from it. Went for two in overtime, and Landon Dixon dropped a pass intended for him off of a play action. That was easily the right call there uh, in that situation going for the win. Yeah, it really was. I mean, I knew right away the play. I, I was never a hesitation. It's something we work on every week. Uh, Landon does a great job with it, and, and he got hit, and I don't know what happened there at the end of it. But we had other opportunities to win it. But, yeah, the two-point play was a, a no-brainer. I felt great about it. I felt great about our, our chances to win right there. As soon as we got it, I felt super about it. Uh, I, you know, now we've got to come up with another two-point play in case it happens in the playoffs. So that was the best two-point play I know. So I got we got to 
research and come up with another one. So you now transition to a first round playoff matchup with Bland County. How can the team bounce back this week, not lose focus heading into that matchup? I think our team's been pretty consistent all year and, and going day to day. I think they're so young it makes it easy for them to understand that whether we win or lose, everyone's evaluating on their individual performance. So that doesn't change. Even when we're winning, some of them come in and get you know, told that's just not good enough. We've got to get better there. And then some of them get told good game. And so it's no different this week. We, I keep it out of winning wins and losses and bouncing back. We don't ever get into that. We really go to each kid individually and talk about how they played that night. So it's pretty normal for them to, for us to win and then hear tough stuff, and it's pretty normal for us to lose, and some of them hear great games. So I, I don't know. I think if you do that year-round, you don't get into a big win or a big loss or how do they feel or how do they not feel because some of them might feel good after winning and come in Monday and dread it, right? And some of them might, we might lose a game. I guarantee you, uh, you know, Andrew Belcher and, and Isaac Hawks came in Monday excited to be here. That's the 10th grade center and the 10th grade right tackle who knew they played well. Yeah. So they didn't come in with any hangover because they were like, oh, I can't wait to get there. I know he's going to be happy. And I was. So I think mean, if you do that, they, you don't have those type of lulls based on the scoreboard. What are your thoughts on the new playoff format? Do you feel that gives your team an advantage? No, I don't think it definitely gives us an advantage. I think it's made it harder. Uh, I think it's made it harder in the early rounds of the playoffs, and it's probably made it easier to get to a state championship game, but it's probably made it way harder to get to the semifinals, if that makes sense. I mean, before it was not as difficult to get to the semifinal, uh, but it was really hard to make it to the state, and that's not knocking any region, but I think when you look at Region C, it gets tough when you look at us and George with, and now we're playing each other in the second round. That's tough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you're not facing Riverheads in the semifinal either. So, so like I said, I think it makes it really difficult early. But if you survive early, you, you, you got you got to like your chances if you're not playing the Big Red Machine in the semifinal. You defeated the Bears 75 to seven a little over two weeks ago. That's your first round matchup. What do you anticipate this time around? Well, I think it'll be a lot closer. Um, that's always the case. I think when, when something like that happens, uh, I think for us. It, it is still focusing on some of our young guys and trying to make them understand situational football. And, and that's what was great about the Grayson game, and they got to be in situational football. So a lot of this week is trying to create situations on the practice field, third downs, for example, and I keep talking about that. And our young kids have got to learn that type of stuff. So we focused on that a lot. And I think this game will be significantly closer, and, and we'll play it closer to the vest. We played them the first time, you know, the whole playbook was wide open. And we ran a bunch of new stuff that nobody had seen. Well, we won't expose any of that. So it'll be a much more reduced playbook. So we had so many splash plays in that game, and I don't look for that to be the case. What will be the biggest challenges you'll have to overcome in tonight's matchup with the Bears? I think we just got to hold on to the football and, and certainly eliminate penalties. And then the key for me watching tonight is third down. Who wins third down, uh, both offensively and defensively? And making sure we get our offense on the field and, and have more than two possessions and a half. I think that's critical. Anything else you want to add to your game plan as you face the Bears tonight? What will be the keys to a Maroon Tide victory? I think just controlling the line of scrimmage. If we can win the line of scrimmage and be able to throw the ball some on early downs, I think that can help expand our offense some. Hey, Coach Mark Dixon, best of luck tonight. Thank you. The colder months are upon us. It's time to take your vehicle to Tweed County Tire and Automotive today. Let their knowledgeable and friendly staff winterize your vehicle and get you a new set of tires for the winter months to keep you safe. Twin County Tire and Automotive is your locally owned and operated full service facility offering all major brands for all makes and models. Trustworthy, honest, and fair, Twin County Tire and Automotive will give you the best deal on tires. Twin County Tire and Automotive, downtown Galax, right across from the police department. Call 276-236-00. That's 276-236-0007. I'm Hal Lepperson, voice of your Galax Maroon Tide, and here to tell you about my favorite restaurant in town, RJ's Pizza and Subs. They keep their menu as fresh as their ingredients, so you always have something new to try. Featuring the best pizza in town, mouth-watering pastas, subs to fill any size appetite, salads with an abundance of fresh vegetables, and an array of appetizers. RJ's Pizza and Subs, 10 0 6 East Stewart Drive in Galax. Open Monday through Saturday for lunch and dinner. Dine with them today or for a takeout, call 276-236-8444. Order online.
online at rjpizza.com. Some of the most enjoyable activities that can be experienced are simple ones. A ride down a country road, a delicious meal, a glimpse into culture from long ago, and the music of the mountains. These are some of the simple pleasures you can experience with a visit to Galax, Virginia. To learn more about the many fun things to do in Galax, stop by the Visitor Center at 110 East Grayson Street or visit us on the web at visitgalax.com. Visitgalax.com, that's visitgalax.com. We are a proud sponsor of Maroon Tide Athletics and wish all of our sports teams the best of luck and go Tide. Welcome you back here. Congratulations to Christy Thompson, the winner of this week's Maroon Todd Family Tailgate Package. You correctly answered a Galax win, 75 to 7 over Bland County, and five rushing touchdowns from Dougie Peoples two weeks ago when they met in the regular season. Now, meanwhile, enjoy your High Country Services starting lineups. Here's we present them to you. The players introduce themselves. Dougie Peoples, number one. I play running back and linebacker and senior. Joshua Spellin, number three. Wide receiver and defensive back, 5'9", 140, and junior. Levi Reynolds, number four. Linebacker, 6'2", 200 pounds. Captain Ball, number five. Turner, 5'7", 165 pounds, junior. Brennan Blason, 7th, H, 5'10", 190, grade 10. Cole Pickett, number eight, quarterback, 6'3", 185, freshman. Ethan Robinson, number nine, defensive back, 5'11", 145, first back. Michael Bobbitt, number 10, outside linebacker, 5'11", 160, 12th guard. Landon Dixon, number 11, defensive back, 5'9", 143, junior. Blake Brown, 14, running back, safety, 5'8", 165, junior. Keaton Beaton, 20, running back and safety, 5'8", 160, 9th. My name is Noah Hutchins, number 23, I'm a tight end and outside linebacker, I'm 6'2", 205 pounds, and I'm a senior. Kobe Lawrence, number 33, middle linebacker, 6'180 pounds, freshman. John Key, number 50, offensive defensive line, 5'10", 220, senior. Isaac Hawks, 53, O-line, 6 foot, 200 pounds, 5th grade. Lee Peoples, number 55, O-line, D-E, 6 foot, 225, sophomore. Christian Brown, number 69, offensive line, defensive line, 5'7", 250. Isom Collision and Custom Paint, your hometown specialist for collision repair and custom paint projects. With their computerized estimates, you will easily understand all of your car's needs. Their technicians are experienced and trained using today's technology. A frame machine with computerized measuring and two bank cycle paint booths enables them to get your vehicle back to factory condition. Isom Collision, located one mile from I-77 between Jeff Johnson Chevrolet and Horizon Rental. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Call 276-728-4330 to schedule an appointment today. That's 276-728-4330. Isom Collision and Custom Paint supporting Todd Pride. High Country Service Funerals and Cremations, located at 600 Glendale Road, Galax, Virginia. Providing the Galax and Twin County area with the most modern funeral home at the lowest prices in Southwest Virginia. High Country Service brings to you a new tradition in funeral care by creating meaningful, unique services designed just for you and your family for the lowest possible price. Because High Country Services offers you the most affordable services in funeral care, we are able to treat everyone equally without you having to negotiate from other funeral homes a more affordable price. It's a winning combination. Best service at the lowest price. Isn't it time you experience the difference in funeral and cremation care at High Country Services? Call us today at 276-236-9009 to see how we can save your family hundreds of dollars for funeral and cremation care without jeopardizing service. Visit us at our web and Facebook pages. High Country Services is proud sponsor of the Gaylax High School Marine Tide Athletic Program and a supporter to bring you the broadcast for your enjoyment. Make tailgating, team celebrations, parties, and other occasions extra special with Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is the easy choice, offering a selection of fresh, delicious food and party platters for your occasion and guests. Chick-fil-A ensures that your order is correct, ready to be picked up or delivered. Put your game face on and score big at your next tailgate party event with crowd-pleasing favorites from your tailgating headquarters. Chick-fil-A, Highway 601 in Mount Airy. Chick-fil-A, eat o chicken.
Cheese Incorporated has been serving our community for 25 years with prompt professional service. Keys Incorporated has complete septic service like pump and repair, and we manufacture septic tanks. See us for excavation and land clearing, ditching and ponds, site prep, installation of new tanks and field lines, and sewer line repairs. Keys Incorporated has same-day service to commercial and residential customers in Galax, the Twin Counties, and surrounding area. Call Keys Incorporated at 276-236-9277. That's 276-236-9277. Blue Ridge Tire and Galax supports all high school athletes safe and protected while traveling, so let Blue Ridge Tire take care of all your automotive needs. New tires, tire maintenance, tune-ups, inspections to overall maintenance. You will appreciate the great service, affordability, and dedication of Blue Ridge Tire, your hometown garage chosen number one in the Twin Counties for auto repair and oil changes. Call Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive, 276-238-0011. That's 276-238-0011. Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive in Galax. Mountain Linen Services is your full service Galax, the Twin Counties, and the surrounding area. Mountain Linen Services specializes in towels, aprons, gowns, kitchen apparel, dust control items like mops, and doorway entrance mats. We even do tablecloth rentals for weddings and special occasions. Give Mountain Linen Services a call at 276-236-0141. That's 276-236-0141. 276-236-0141. Mountain Linen Services, a proud sponsor of Galax Maroon Tide Athletics and our local sports broadcast. Tell them your WCGX sports team sent you. Back to Galax High School, getting you set for kickoff tonight. First round playoff game between Galax and Bland. Tonight's pregame interview was brought to you by Aunt B's Restaurants with five locations to serve you. And veterans eat free on Veterans Day tomorrow at Aunt B's. Galax, Hillsville, and Independence, and Mount Airy and Pilot Mountain. Been in business for 33 years. Delicious home-cooked meals, daily specials, famous breakfast served all day, mouth-watering hickory smoked barbecue, fresh catfish tenders, hamburger steak plates, catering service, special name brand jellies, ice cream, milkshakes, sundaes, and more. Comfort food made quick at Aunt B's. The starting lineups were brought to you by High Country Services, located at 600 Glendale Road in Galax, providing Galax in the Twin County area with the most modern funeral home at the lowest prices in Southwest Virginia. Winning combination, best service at the lowest price. Experience the difference in funeral and cremation care today at High Country Services. Give them a call at 276-236-9009, 276-236-9009, highcountryservice.com. It's highcountryservice.com. And Tim, keys to the game. Take it away. Brought to you by Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive. What does Galax need to do for a win here tonight? Well, on the offensive side, uh, they need to be crisp with their blocking like they uh, were a couple weeks ago whenever they blew open so many holes, uh, getting those five touchdowns in the first half. Then also ball security uh, came back and bit them pretty hard last week whenever they uh, had some turnovers late in the game. Uh, on the defensive side, uh, just continue to keep uh, – and maintain your lanes like you're supposed to on the defensive side. And overall, just don't overlook uh, the opposing team. It's playoff time. I know we whooped them pretty good last time, but uh, anything can happen. It's a new ball game. That's there, right. Sure. So that's good. And uh, we had some from our listener in Dobson. She said her keys to the first half is score big, have little turnovers and run down the field. That's from Christy Bledsoe and Dobson. So we got her keys to the game in here this mor uh, this afternoon, Eber, too. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, the keys to the game brought to you by Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive, 1101 South Main Street, Galax, Virginia. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30. And for an appointment, call 276-238-0011 today. And uh, kickoff. Brought to you by Galax Parks and Recreation and Bland County on the return. Got it out across the 25 to the 28-yard line. That's where they're going to start, moving left to right across your radio dial. So Galax Parks and Recreation kickoff. Give them their plug here in just a few moments. Got a couple of playoff sponsors that I'll mention. Kyle Realty here for tonight's game. And then we've got Virginia, Carolina, Heating and Cooling. 
here sponsoring our playoffs uh, for the Galax Maroon Tide. Running play, turning the corner, getting it to the outside numbers is the ball carrier for Bland County, a pickup of a yard. It'll be second down and nine coming up here for the Bears. And they do have some weapons, though, in their offense, a really good quarterback, and that is Waters for the Bears. So look out for that, that they can mix it up. And here we go. Waters will roll out. Will look, being flushed. Throws it down the near sidelines, and he is clobbered, the receiver. Got hit hard by Ethan Robinson. And there to nail him, Tim. And that will separate the football from the receiver right there. Taking a shot, laying the lumber. Robinson, incomplete, third and nine coming up for the Bears. Yeah, excellent play there by Robinson. The receiver initially was open, but he closed that pretty quick with his speed and then separates him from the ball with a good, clean hit. It wasn't uh, defenseless player type stuff or anything else, but it was a good, clean hit and good play. So here we go. Bland will try running play to the outside. And turning the corner goes the ball carrier, walking the tightrope down the far sidelines. Bland's side of the field and will pick up about four yards. So that will bring on the punting unit as they couldn't get it across the chains. It'll be fourth down and five coming up here. It's Bland County will get ready to punt this football away. Back deep for the Maroon Tide here will be Noah Hutchins and backpedaling Caxton Vault. Drops the football, picks it up from the 30, and will bring it to the near side 40. 45, blockers in front, makes a cut, stutter step, and gets out across the 50, and then will be hit there and pushed backwards. So it looks like Galax will have it at the bland 49-yard line, depending on the spot. They may mark it at midfield. It will be the 49-yard line. Galax moving right to left. So the Galax defense coming through. Tim doing all they needed to do right there, making their tackles, getting the stops. And Galax offense will take over here right at midfield. They're going to spot it at the 50. First and 10, 10 left to play here in quarter number one as Peoples takes a snap out of the Wildcat running play, slides out of one tackle, and then will be stood up as he takes it to the 49, maybe the 48-yard line. I think he got two. They will mark it at the 48, second down oh, no. and eight coming up for Galax. And he's coming out totally not walking on that one leg. Yes, he is. Wow. That'd be a Dougie big Peoples, loss. It would he's... be a huge loss. He is limping, not putting any pressure on his right ankle and foot. So we will check on the status of Dougie Peoples. That is not good for Galax's chances. But you do have a good, talented tailback in Blake Brown, the second string. A lot of talented tailbacks. They've got a lot of depth at that position for sure, but that would be a big loss to lose your senior leader on both sides of the balls. Blake Brown with a good head of steam gets into the secondary, explodes to the 35-yard line for a Galax first down. So Galax has it between the hash marks, moving right to left. 9.32 left to play in the first quarter. No score between Galax and Bland here in the first round playoff bout. Yeah, they that tend play to was a good executed play by Blake Brown getting to the outside there. But, boy, hate to see this. Hopefully, Peoples can get taped up and come back out. Absolutely. As quarterback Evans drops the throw. Fakes right, looks left, and gives it to the receiver there on the pass, Caxton Vault. There to haul it in, turns it upfield, and gets twisted to a stopping point at the 20-yard line. So that pass and catch goes for 10. And Galax will have it at the Fender's Body Shop and Towing Red Zone, moving right to left across your radio dial as they break the huddle. Offset eye formation with two wide receivers. Evans dropped under center, fakes the inside give, now drops the throw, and out across the middle it goes on a slant to Hutchins, incomplete. And, boy, he had a wide receiver wide open in the end zone. He just didn't see him come free. And he, I don't know, who was that, 24? Yeah. He put his hand in, <laughs> head in his hands and said, oh, man, why didn't you see me? 
he was breaking free and had a wide open shot at that end zone. Oh, man. Second and 10 for Galax from the Bland 20. There's the fake, the drop back, the throw, and heavy traffic. It's a tight window to throw it to. That's your man right there, Kate Ashworth, there to make the catch falling on his back inside the 10-yard line to the 8 on that pass that's, and catch. That's one of those situations where he probably came back to the huddle and said, you better throw it to me this next play that we're throwing because I was wide open. You owe me one, buddy. <laughs> 840 left to play here in quarter number one. So here we go. Galax has it inside the 10. First and goal. Here's the throw, and it is too high for the intended target. And going back to the tight end there and incomplete. That is Kate Ashworth, the intended receiver. Fender's body shop and towing. If you're ever locked out of your car, you're in an accident, your vehicle won't start, you got a flat tire. Remember Fender's body shop and towing with 24-hour roadside assistance. Call them today at 276-233-7477. 276-233-7477. Second and goal from the eight. Evans will drive back here. We'll hand it off. Delay give direct. Draw up the middle, running play, and it goes to Blake Brown, and he carries it to the five-yard line. That's a pickup of three yards, so third and goal coming up for Galax from the Bears' five-yard line. And I must say, Dougie's not looking good here on the sideline. I know, but he has been wanting to get up and try to walk around it there, keeping him on the bench. Letting him sit. Here's Evans. Hands it off. Blake Brown makes a cut. Avoids one tackle. Tries to spin his way into the end zone and gets pushed backwards. And he's going to be two, maybe three yards short here. It'll be fourth and goal for Galax. They may not give him a good spot, and they are not. Mark it down to four. Thought he got more than that. Galax will break the huddle here with seven and a half minutes left to play in the first quarter. Fourth and goal from the four for the Maroon Tide. Evans will send a man in motion. That's Hutchins to the left. Will line up as an offset tight end. Galax will try the running play here and into the end zone. Blake Brown give him six on a four-yard rushing score. That was easy, slamming it up the middle. Blake Brown to the end zone. Yeah, coaches always are putting a little bit extra stuff on uh, tape always for teams to prepare for all sorts of different looks and uh, that one was just an old-fashioned run right back up the middle of the way Galax likes to get it done and here comes Blake Brown to talk to Dougie after uh, he scores a touchdown and Dougie's done for the night it looks like his uh, pads have come off yep the extra point is good and it is seven to nothing Galax as we step aside, take a timeout break. You're listening to Maroon Tide Football on WCGX. Back after this. Treat yourself to a meal. Galax Tasty Freeze. Established in 1978, the Galax Tasty Freeze is a nostalgic cruise-in and local favorite. Serving up fabulous $5 daily specials, the best dog basket in town, and yummy shakes and ice cream. The Galax Tasty Freeze has everything from pizza and hamburger steaks to chicken and barbecue and hot dog and hamburger combos. So call in your tailgate special on the way to the game, ready in 20 minutes, 276-236-5095. 276-236-5095. The Galax Tasty Freeze on South Main Street, Highway 89 in Galax, Virginia. Galax Tasty Freeze, let us do the cooking while you have the fun. DNA Heating and Cooling, celebrating over 45 years of service. We specialize in high efficiency, energy saving heat pumps, gas and oil furnaces with 24 7 service and repair. Licensed and insured, we now offer professional duct cleaning. DNA Heating and Cooling at 4971 Carrollton Pike, Woodlawn, Virginia. Call us today at 276 236 3829. That's 276 236 3829. Back to the action, and Bland County has it on their next drive from its own 36-yard line ball in the far hash, first and 10, as the Bears will send a man in motion. And running play, near side, and a big hit. Wow. Wow, oh, man, he got through the nail, the ball carrier. That is Blake Brown. Samuel Bright, the sophomore, was the ball carrier there for the Bears, and boy, he took a lick. 
Yeah, boy, Buck Brown come in there, and nice to see that. Hard charge and safety. Oh, yeah, boy. Loss of a yard. Two. Second down and 12. Back to the 34 it goes. As Waters and the Bears will break the huddle here, and he drops the snap. Ball is free. It will be recovered by Bland County. Loss of another yard. It'll be third and 13 coming up for the Bears. Wow. So Galax, of course, the concerned Dougie Peoples and taking off the uniform and shoulder pads and everything. So that is devastating. I hope for the best of the senior tailback. Third down and 12 coming up. High snap, Waters will fake, will tuck and run, keep it himself, not going anywhere. It's going to lose another yard, fourth and 14 coming up for the Bears. Looks like number 53 there, Isaac Hawks, leading the Galax Maroon Tide Tigers. Come over and gave him a big old coat to sit in Dougie Peoples there. Sure did. Fourth and 14, Bland will punt it away for the second time tonight. Will be fielded by Caxon Vault and didn't field that one cleanly for the second time. Hurdles a defender at the 40, 45, 50, gets hit out of bounds. Man, Caxton Vault, he can be so electric and do so many good things out there on the field. He's fun to watch. He's kind you can of, see it right there. Know. He's kind of that sweet and sour. That hit a little sweet, the sour. He's dropped two punts and picked it back that's up. That one thing. <laughs> but you. he makes something out of it, that's I'll for sure. I'll tell you, he's a baller, that's for sure. Yeah, he doesn't give up on the but, play. Uh, 523 left the play here in the first over. quarter. And we first and 10 Galax from midfield. Side moving right to left. We got a four yard rushing score and a last drive by Blake Brown. Taking the snap as the freshman Cole Pickett will give it to Blake Brown. Makes a cut. Now brings it back. And after cutting the corner to the outside, and Blake Brown with a huge run, about 15, 16, maybe 17 yards. Yeah, make it 17 as he carries it to the 33 of Bland County. 17-yard pickup for Blake. And Galax will break the huddle. Well, you got to have all these younger guys step up now that your senior leaders off the field and make a difference. Uh, to make this run go good for Galax. Galax out of the pistol. One step drop, throw to Caxton Vault, turns back, makes the catch at the 30, and will be pulled down. They're making that one, hauling it in to the outside there, numbers. Caxton Vault. So, second down coming up here for the Maroon Tide. That pass and catch going for four. So, second down here and a long five for the Maroon Tide. Four and a half left to play here in the first. Galax leading seven to nothing. Ball at the 29-yard line, running play near side, and there goes Blake Brown to the 20, 15, 10, 5, and he's in. 4-6. Steps inside the pylon. And it is 13 to nothing, Galax, with 419 left to play in the first quarter. Galax will get set to kick the PAT. Meanwhile, I want to give the plug to Galax Parks and Recreation. 2017 Fall and Winter brochure link is located at galax-parksrec.com. And uh, you can stop by for many great things, a variety of aquatic sports and senior programs. The city of Galax Parks and Recreation offers 601 South Main Street in Galax, Virginia. Go by and see them today. Or for more info, call 276 276- 236-3218. Look forward to seeing everyone at our facility. We'll step aside, take a timeout break as the PAT is good or no good. 13 to nothing. Maroon tied with the lead with 419 left to play in the first back after this. Oh no! What do I do now? Hey buddy, no worries. Fenders can help. Fenders Body Shop and Towing is available and on call when you need them. So if you are ever in an accident or your vehicle just won't start, then remember Fenders Body Shop and Towing. Fenders provides 24-hour roadside assistance and have been in business for 38 years. Fast, easy, and convenient service and a name you can trust. Give Fenders Body Shop and Towing a call at 276 233 
276-233-7407. That's 276-233-7407. And visit our website, FendersBodyShop.com. That's FendersBodyShop.com. Or stop by the shop at 103 North Meadow Street in Galax. We do collision repair work and have a nice selection of used cars. So come see us and tell us you heard it on the radio. Back to Galax football, the City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. 4-17 left to play here in the first quarter. Galax leading 13 to nothing over Bland County. Blake Brown with his second rushing score of the night. The last one from 29 yards out. PAT was no good. And Bland County on the return. They dropped it initially and then picked it up and returned it to the 20-yard line. Galax nearly got that football as the Gunners got down the field quickly. But here's Bland County now, first and 10 from its own 20 as Waters takes a snap and avoids one tackle. Now we'll throw it. It is oh, in wow. the air, and it is caught by number 44 of the Bears. That is Ty Ritter going up top over the defender to haul in that one. Excellent Beautiful play catch. by Waters there. He oh, had, yeah, under uh, duress. Had a hand, had a man in his face I there. I think it was number 10. Is that Walker Bobbitt? Yes, you are correct. He was he was all over him, and, and uh, he still made that throw, and they got the catch. Very good play there for Blaine County. So first and 10 Bears from their own 31-yard line as Waters will hand it off, wow. and Galax is in there to twist the ball carrier to a stopping point in the backfield, and leading the charge there was the freshman linebacker, Colby Barnes. That'll work for a loss of a yard. So second down and a long 10 coming up here for the Bears. 3.28 left to play in the first quarter. Do you have an update on Dougie? Just know it's an ankle. That's all they're letting they us have an x-ray at the end of the game. Yeah. So Second down and 10 coming up as Waters will fake to Ritter, will keep it himself. Ritter was lined up in the backfield. The ball is free. See who recovered after the pile of humanity. Galax got it. Breaks, and Galax did recover. Galax on the fumble recovery will take over. First and 10 from the Bears' 32-yard line. With 3.07 left to play here in the first quarter, the tide leading 13 to nothing. So very good frustrating. For, yeah, it is. And Galax is just like they've got something now to play for, losing their senior leader. I like the way that how aggressive they're being as the quarterback will take it up the middle on the draw. That is... Evans, and he will run it for, looks like four yards, second down and six coming up here for the Maroon Tide from the Bears' 29-yard line. But, yeah, it seems like they just, they've got something to to play for, I guess, is, you know. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, it is devastating seeing a lot of the players come over to Dougie, give him a pat on the shoulder or a hug. So that is good to see. Yeah, prayers Check go it on their teammate. for sure. Absolutely. Evans will hand it off. Up the middle goes the ball carrier, Blake Brown. The spin move will be twisted to a stopping point, falling on his back to the 15-yard line. So that's a 14-yard carry and a first down for Blake Brown with 2.20 left to play in the first quarter. Galax leading Bland 13 to nothing. Yeah, you don't know who's going to be under center for... Galax it switches out so much, doesn't it? Sure it sure does. Evans, two-step drop, will throw. Got a man open at the 10, turned it up to the 5. Dives for the pylon, and he's in! Broke the tackle. That is our... Caxton Vaughn. Yep, yeah, that's our Caxton. man, Caxton Vaughn. That's the sweet... Wow. <laughs> the somersault <laughs> into the end zone. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Getting over the pylon there. Yes, Very good sir. play. 19 to nothing, Galax, with 2.10 left to play in the first quarter. And Vault will get ready to kick the PAT, does everything. There's a snap, good hold. Kick is up, and it is good. Through the uprights, makes the score. Galax 20, Bland County 0. Back after this, Galax football on WCGX. The city of Galax parks and...
Government, located at 601 South Main Street, Galax would like to invite everyone to stop by and enjoy the many new programs and activities we have to offer for kids, adults, and seniors. The 2017 Fall and Winter Program brochure can be downloaded at galax-parksrec.com. That's galax-parksrec.com, or you can pick up a printed copy at the Galax Recreation Center. We look forward to seeing everyone come out and participate in our many fitness classes and programs. Again, we are located at 601 South Main Street, Galax, Virginia, in Feltz Park, phone 276-236-3218. That's 276-236-3218. All right. Welcome you back here to Galax Football. 210 left to play here in the first quarter. Galax is set to kick this one down the field, the ensuing kick. And it is away. End over end will be taken from around the 21-yard line. Out across the 25-30 goes the return man. And we'll take a shot. Noah Hutchins laying the lumber on the return man for Bland County. Number 15 of the Bears there, Jonathan Bright, the junior, with the return out to the 32 of the Bears. 2.05 left to play in the first quarter. Galax leading Bland 20 to nothing. And sounds like a pretty serious injury for Dougie Peoples. He will not return to this game, and it's not looking good for his outlook, maybe for the uh, next couple of games, if not the remainder of the playoffs. So I mean, everything, it sounds like it's pretty serious injury. And even a sprained ankle can be take a couple of weeks to come back from. Low ankle sprain and then a high ankle sprain. Yeah, two different exactly. Things. And high is worse. Yes. Here's a throw, and it is in the air. It was bobbled by the receiver and dropped, nearly intercepted. That one was hanging out in the air for a while right there. Just falls incomplete. That is a dangerous throw there by Jacob Waters under duress. And uh, got it. Got it away, and intended target was Ty Ritter there, and he couldn't come down with it. And Galax with heavy coverage here to the 7 10 coming up for the Bears. 155 left to play in the first, second and 10 from their own 32. Ball in the far hash as Waters will drop to under center with a split backfield. Takes a snap, will hand it off. Running play along the far hash marks goes the ball carrier for the Bears. Looks like Ritter there, number 44 was in the backfield and runs it for just a yard, maybe two. Give him two there, third down and eight coming up for the Bears. It's a long eight from the Bears' 34-yard line. He likes leading Bland County 20 to nothing. One and a half minutes left to play in the first quarter as Bland breaks the huddle. Ball on the far hash, the 34. With a split backfield, Waters under center, fakes the pitch. Drops the throw, looks, looks, being flushed, chased down. Now reverses field, looks left, now throws, and it is going to be incomplete. Broken up by Caxton Vault. The intended receiver downfield was Ethan. And it will now be fourth down and a long eight coming up for the Bears. Yeah, you got to admire the moxie of that quarterback there. I'm telling you, he's getting he chased all over the place, isn't he? Yeah. And he just keeps running around and trying to make something happen. Did you see that play last night by uh, Russell Wilson? Yeah. The spin and the spin yeah, and then the throw? That's amazing. He's been doing similar stuff tonight, trying oh, yeah. to get the ball out anyway. Hey, Russell Wilson, he is a special player, that's for sure. He's done a lot for the Seahawks there in that offense. 109 left to play here in the first quarter. Fourth down and nine. High snap with Bland going for it. Waters will fall on it oh, man. at the 18-yard line. So that will give Galax good field position here inside the Fender's Body Shop and Towing red zone. Give Fender's Body Shop and Towing a call today with 24-hour roadside assistance. If you're ever in an accident, you've got a flat tire, your vehicle won't start, or you're locked out of your car, then remember Fender's 276-233. 7477, that's 276-374. All right, here we go. First and 10, Galax from the Bland County 18-yard line as they send the H-back Bryson in motion out to the left. Here's a throw in zone, and it's caught. Catch made by Kate Ashworth behind the defender for six. Right bus, by, uh, beside the pylon there. 
Oh yeah. And that makes it 26 to nothing. As they bring out the golf cart here to pick up Dougie Peoples. So I guess may go to the hospital for an x-ray. And was not putting any weight on that right foot as he hopped to the golf cart there driven by Coach Brown. Here's the kick on the way. The PAT is good. Makes the score 27 to nothing Galax with 58 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Back to Galax High School, your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week after this. Are you prepared for the cold winter snap? How about for that electric heating bill? Now's the time to switch over to a York system from Virginia, Carolina Heating and Cooling. All new York systems receive a 10-year labor warranty. That's right, a 10-year labor warranty. Plus lifetime compression warranties on high energy saving systems. And we can help you see a 30% drop in your electric bill. Virginia, Carolina Heating and Cooling specializes in new installation and change outs of heat pumps and gas and oil furnaces. Offering free estimates licensed in North Carolina and Virginia. Give Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling a call today at 276-237-5156. 276-237-5156. Kyle Realty and Auction, one of the oldest real estate firms in the Twin Counties with over 125 years of combined agent experience to assist you in locating that perfect property. We even have insurance for your auto, home, motorcycle, farm, and commercial property. Kyle Realty and Auction has two convenient locations to serve you in Galax and Fancy Gap. Find property listings at kyle-realty.com or call our Galax office at 276-236-6134 or Fancy Gap at 276-728-4994. Go Maroon Tide! Back to the action return by the Bears return man gets out across the 35, gets pulled down at around the 37 yard line. That is number seven, Samuel Bright, the sophomore. Not a bad return there, Tim. And they're going to spot it at the Bland County 39 with 53 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. Galax leading Bland 27 to nothing. Yeah, this game has really been set up a little bit by Bland's uh, mistakes so far. We've not had a long field much at all. Uh, we've won the uh, field position battle for sure, and they're getting a pretty good start this time. Split backfield, Waters dropped under center, first and 10 for the Bears' 39-yard line. As he will hand it off to Ritter, Galax is all over it in the backfield. Coming off the edge to pull down the running back is number 10, Walker Bobbitt. And that will only go for a yard to the 40. Second down and nine coming up for Bland County. Galax does a good job getting that running game stuffed quick. Bland County trying to run, I think, a little bit more than they've been throwing. Split backfield. There's the pitch, then the handoff to number 22. He lost it. Football is free. Galax is saying that they recovered, but no. Samuel Bright pulls down. it in. I saw that one. It's a down his by knee contact. Was, yeah. His knee was down. I would have taken it. Oh, yeah. I mean, no <laughs> review in high school. Sure. I would have taken it for sure. That carry to the 43-yard line. So down by contact. And it'll be third down and looks like six coming up for the Bland County Bears in their own 43-yard line. And we're going to stay right here. So four scores for the Maroon Tide there. Set up by some Bland County mistakes. And uh, you've got Blake Brown with a 29-yard rushing score, a four-yard rushing touchdown, and then a couple of pass plays to the end zone. One to Caxton Vault, and that Galax was set up inside the red zone on that one. And then Kate Ashworth found the tight end there here, the most recent score. So the uh, touchdowns there in the first half brought to you by the original Galax Tasty Freeze. Nostalgic cruise in, local favorite, established in 1978, serving up fabulous $5 daily specials, the best dog baskets in town, yummy shakes and ice cream, everything from pizza and hamburger steaks to chicken and barbecue and hot dog hamburger combos. Call in your tailgate special on your way to the game, ready in 20 minutes, 276-236-5095. 276-236-5095, South Main Street, Highway 89, Galax, Virginia. Let us do the cooking while you have the fun. 
Third down and six. Bland County needs it from their own 43-yard line running play. And a carry to the 46 as the running back dives and leans forward, getting any amount of yardage he can get. That is Ritter to the 46 of the Bears. So now fourth down coming up here for Bland County. Fourth and a little bit more manageable. It's fourth and a long three. Well, I Bears. agree with Bland. you got to go. You're down 27 to nothing. And um, it's playoff time. Exactly. So might as well try to get it. Whatever it takes. Waters, two-step drop, slings oh. it, and it is incomplete. Heard the footsteps right there. Galax closing quickly. Strong safety, Keaton Beeman, and the corner, Josh Sperlin. The intended receiver there for Bland County was Trey Harden, the sophomore. First time we've called his name here tonight. And Galax will take over here, turnover on downs in Bland County territory, the 46. Yeah, he just tried running the ball too quick. He actually probably could have gotten it. He had enough separation, but he just dropped it. Galax will send Bryson out of the backfield as Evans rolls out to the right side, looks and fires it complete. Catch is made downfield by Kate Ashworth. Right down the near sidelines, his second catch of the evening. No, make it three. He's caught three balls here tonight, and that one to the Bears' 29-yard line pass and catch works for a total of 17 yards. No, flag on the play. Come oh, we back. do have a penalty. That's our first penalty flag tonight. I believe that was actually on Ashworth. I think he jumped too soon. I think he took one step before the snap came back to the quarterback. I thought I saw it, but I didn't see the flag come out. But a 10-yard penalty here, looks like. So they're bringing it back to the... Oh, well, it must have been holding. Yeah, there. 44. It looks like a holding penalty against Galax. So now it'll be uh, first and 20 as you repeat the down. As Evans drops back, we'll pitch it. Little show pass to Blake Brown. Jumps out of one tackle, 50, 45, 40. As he throws a stiff arm, he dives and leans forward. I think he's going to be shy of the 40. Mark him down at the 41. But what an effort there. Yeah, and he got it past the original line of scrimmage to the Bears. 41-yard line ball in the near hash. The tide moving left to right across your radio dial. 10.57 left to play here in the first half. Galax will use a timeout here. Yeah, that shovel pass, pass was... Pass. <laughs> <laughs> that shovel pass was very well executed. Uh, the line had kind of broke down on that side, so he just makes something with his feet happen. Uh, reverses fields and comes forward and um, gets a good gain on it, and that was all on the legs of Blake Brown. And uh, glad you have the depth at the running back, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need it here, probably moving forward. I would help. But then the other thing, uh, past plays, and I think some of that is for the film study for future teams and not that not only that but just getting that crisped up a little bit absolutely second down and five here for galax after that 15 yard running play uh on the pitch from evans to blake brown and this one's not going anywhere as the running back was bottled up that may have been evans on that quarterback keeper there now the tuck and run Takes it to the 40, so give him a yard. Third down and four coming up here for the Maroon Tide. Little quarterback sneak up the middle right there. Caxton Vault will be the receiver out wide. Twins to the near side. That's both tight ends, Ashworth and Hutchins. As they send Bryson out of the backfield, Evans will keep it himself, makes a cut, and runs it along the near hash marks. Close to the 35-yard line. Mark him down at the... 36, and that be will close, be very first. close to first down. He's going to be about a yard short. Oh, wow. Fourth and one. Really make it fourth and inches. Well, they marked it at the 37, didn't they? They did. They did bring it back a little bit. Because I saw it marked at the 36. But 
Well, we'll see what we can do with yeah, the power. Fourth and then. inches here from the 37 as Evans drops under center with an I formation backfield to hand off. Running play up the middle, making a cut, throwing the stiff arm. Blake Brown, 20, 15, 10, 5, and you can put it in the books. Give him six. What a running play. And no flags. That's exactly right. And Blake Brown is his third rushing score of the night, stepping up in the loss to Dougie Peoples. And what we think is a significant ankle injury. I hope it's not a break. And he is going for x-rays right now. A 33 to nothing lead here for Galax with 9.29 left to play in the half. There's a snap. The hold lays his forward kick is up. And it is through the uprights and good. Paxton Vault, the PAT, makes the score. Galax 34, Bland County 0. Your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. We'll be right back after this. Are you currently in the market for a new job or a new career change? At a place of business that promotes from within, would you enjoy working with a team of friendly, wholesome people in a family-type atmosphere? If you answered yes to the preceding questions, Aunt B's Restaurants in Galax, Hillsville, and Independence, Virginia may have the opportunity that you are looking for. That's because Aunt B's Restaurants is currently taking applications for job openings at their Virginia locations. You may apply anytime during the hours of operation, but Aunt B's managers make it a point to be on location to conduct interviews at both their Galax and Hillsville, Virginia restaurants on Thursdays from 2 until 4, and at their Independence, Virginia restaurant on Tuesdays from 2 until 4. Aunt B's restaurants promote from within and are an equal opportunity employer. Aunt B's restaurants do not discriminate on the basis of age, sex, race, national origin, culture, or religion in the hiring of new employees. That's Aunt B's restaurants in Galax, Hillsville, and Independence, Virginia. Currently looking to hire quality job applicants. Back to the action and a running play for I checked out a return by Bland County's Samuel Bright and gets it out across the 25 and see where the officials will mark it here. So he tried to surge and lean forward. Mark him down at the 28. First and 10 Bears from that spot. 9.23 left to play here in the half. Galax leading Bland 34 to nothing. First round of the playoffs here tonight in Galax High School. Split backfield. Quarterback dropped under center. will send a man in motion as Waters will fake and keep it himself. And will be thrown to the turf, wrestled down at around the 30-yard line. I think he's going to get two yards. It'll be second down and a long eight coming up here for the Bears. And the quarterback keeper. See if we can find out some more information from Dougie Peoples. They're not telling us a whole lot, so it may be pretty serious. Waters with a split backfield dropped under center. We'll take the snap. Pumps, looks, looks, dances around. He's got time. Flushed out to the right. And now we'll throw it down the sidelines incomplete. And a receiver in the vicinity. But, uh, that was under duress right there, really just throwing that one away. Incomplete. It'll be third down and nine coming up for the Bears. Third and a long eight for Bland County. Intended receiver there for the Bears was 28. And they do not have his name and number corresponding on my roster here tonight. Apologize for that. Third down and a long eight coming up here for Bland County from right around the 30 yard line. And they're going to pitch it to Samuel Bright. Will be pulled down from behind as he crosses the 30 to about the 32, maybe the 33-yard line. And that will now bring up fourth down and five for the Bears. They've only had one first down? I think so. Early on. I think of that first drive, I believe. That one long pass. That I was think. it. Yep. So Gaylike's defense really. really executing well. And Bland will get in punt formation. will decide to kick this one away this time. A lot of good hang time, and it'll be dropped and will be recovered. Let's see who gets it. Ball is free, and it's being rolled around all over the place, recovered by Bland County. It's a recovery by the Bears. 
at around the 28-yard line. So that's where Bland County will have it in Galax territory. Who muffed that punt, Tim? Was that, that Hutchins, was, I believe, 23? That was yeah. 7.58 left to play here in the half. Galax leading Bland County 34 to nothing. The Bears get huddled up. Boy, they've not been in this territory all night long, so it might be an opportunity to take advantage of where they're at. The Galax 28 running play near side. Sliding out of a tackle goes the ball carrier for Bland County. That's 22 on that carry there. Ethan Cook. And I think he got pulled down by Ethan Robinson after a pickup of no gain. 28 yard line is where the Bears have it. Second down and 10 coming up, or a long nine, however you want to look at it. About a half a yard there on the pickup for the Bears. As Waters will fake the pitch after taking the snap, will take off and run here. He's got some speed. Gets to the 25 and will be hit hard at the 23. That's where he will be taken down. Boy, Let's he's a good see. ball player, isn't he? He is. Under duress, and he can somehow escape. The middle linebacker there to hit him, Colby Barnes, the freshman. It'll be third down and five for Bland from the Galax 23-yard line. Maru Todd leading 34 to nothing. 6.46 left to play here in the first half as Bland breaks the huddle. Trips to the near side as Waters has a snap. Pressure, throw, Ritter wide open at 25. Turns it up to the 20, dragging defenders and will be pulled down at around the 18-yard line. Took 16. a lot of Galax wow. defenders to bring him down there. They're marking him at the 16. They are. He, he only got to the 18. That's what you saw, right? Yeah. Easily. Got a good spot there. That's very generous. Now, they did throw him back a little bit, but I don't think they threw him back no, that they did. That's okay. It was a first down. And yeah. Let's see what happens here. Looks like a injured Bland County player, and it's number 89, Patrick Christian, the junior. And Bland may be using a timeout here. They will. They're going to check on Christian. May just be just an injury timeout. Uh oh, there's a wasp. Get it? Oof, right above my head. Well, at least it's not a spider. <laughs> I'd have probably been hightailing it out of this press box. Oh, me. Tim's a fly catcher. 620 well, last half. Yeah, that's right. Fly catcher. Sounds didn't need, sissy. Didn't need any spray up here tonight. <laughs> Even though it's, hey, all the little critters get in here when it's, it's cold weather to try to warm up, too, just like the rest of us. 610 left to play here in the half. Clock is ticking. Play clock is down to 10 seconds. Lane County wasting no time as Water scans the defense. Look to drop to under center there. Now it jumps out. back up. Now they will burn a timeout. Well, the last one was an injury timeout, and they've got, looks like, one more timeout here left in the half, I guess. I know Bram wants to get it right, but you know he's got to be a little frustrated as a coach having that injury timeout, able to talk about it, and then there's still confusion when you break free of your huddle. Yeah. Uh, you know the coaches don't like that very well. Absolutely. So do appreciate our playoff sponsors here tonight. That is uh, Kyle Realty and Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling. So now, Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling, that's your experts. Authorized dealer for Train and York. And uh, let me get this right. You get a 10-year labor warranty. 10-year labor warranty on York products. That is good stuff right there. And Train, it, it's got a good name. It carries with it. And uh, nobody can outrun a train, right, Tim? That's right. So you get a $1,000 rebate with any new train system from Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling. That's a really, really good deal. They do have free estimates and all kinds of great things there. And they can show you how you can save 30% on your heating and electric bill. And they specialize in installing new products, and uh, that would be gas and oil furnaces and heat pumps, or they'll repair or replace any of those. 
boost the systems. And I'm going to give you that number here to call for uh, Virginia Carolina heating and cooling. Licensed in both North Carolina and Virginia. You can't beat that. Looks like 276, 236, 54, 51. So 508 left to play here in the first half. A couple of running plays for the Bears. Get some third and two from the Galax 8. So they got it inside the Maroon Tide 10 yard line here. Lane County's Waters will drop to under center with a split backfield and a receiver out wide. As Waters will hand it off to Ritter, and he's going to be stood up and pushed back here. Oh, they lack oh, defense, oh. and they strip the football too. But they say he was down. Got to a knee there, and look at Dixon. He ran out of there. Look at him, pacing the sideline, shaking his head. Well, they did not blow the whistle. They didn't. He was stood up, and Galax definitely got that ball loose with him on his feet and took off the other way. <laughs> And then they you stopped saw Turner after. and the rest of the coaches pointing that direction. It was beaming the strong safety. Well, came out of there with after it. he was about 20 yards from the play. Oh yeah, they blew it dead. <laughs> Unreal. Fourth down and two from the eight. No gain on that last running play as Waters will keep it himself, tuck and run, dives and leans, surges inside the five, down to about the. Th three maybe let's see where they're going to spot it yes the three yard line that will set up first and goal for bland inside of four minutes left to play in the half here is a running play to the outside goes the ball carrier turning the corner and looks like we got a signal over there yes Touchdown, Bland County. Or not. Well, that one ref had his arms he did. like it was I, I kind of up. up. It wasn't straight up, but it, wow. I thought he might have been bundled up so he just couldn't get him above his head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Running play goes for two yards to the one. Waters, that quarterback sneak, that's in. Touchdown, Bland County. No mistake in that. You know how when you're bundled up, how it just kind of <laughs> sticks you out, you know, exactly. you can't get up or down or whatever. Sure thing. But didn't it look like it, it did. a little touchdown? I saw two officials throw up the touchdown sign there. So Blaine County will get ready to kick the PAT here. So the Bears come through. First time they've been in Galax territory tonight. The snap, the kick. A good hold there is through the uprights and good. And it is 34 to 7 in favor of Galax with 3.05 left to play here in the half. Be back to your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week after this. Stay tuned. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The Twin County Regional Hospital's Emergency Department staff in Galax, Virginia, are able to respond to medical and surgical emergencies. They are highly qualified to initiate life-saving procedures in all types of emergency situations. And it is very comforting to know that the Emergency Department at Twin County Regional Hospital is an accredited chest pain center and a Joint Commission Certified Primary Stroke Center. When you need them, they are there. Twin County Regional Hospital in Galax, Virginia, a Duke Life Point affiliate. Twin County Tire and Automotive is your one-stop shop for all of your automotive repair and maintenance needs. Plus, they offer a wide selection of tires from trusted brands at fair prices. Their knowledgeable and properly trained technicians will get you back on the road quickly. Twin County Tire and Automotive, stop by once town Galax or call 276-236-0007 to schedule an appointment. Go to TwinCountyTire.com backslash coupons dash rebates for great ways to save on your next visit. All right, back to the action and return picked up from the 33-yard line. Stutter step, Caxton Vault throws a oh. stiff arm, will be thrown into the Blank County sidelines. I think we we're both looking for a late hit right there. Oh, yeah, he rode him out of bounds and kept twisting him. and Yeah, about to throw him into the, the yeah. bench over he there. did throw him into the bench. Yeah. Wow. 
But uh, anyways, the telephone number, I'll make a correction here, telephone number for Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling. Give them a call today, folks. The number is 276-237 and 5156 for Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling. That winter weather is approaching, folks, so make sure that uh, heating system is installed properly and working as it should. If you need a new system, then go by and see Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling today. So Galax with running play. It's like to the 46-yard line. It'll be second down and five here. Here's Blake Brown. Up the gut he goes, slamming it forward to midfield. going to be very close to a first down. going to be inches short. Third and one coming up here for the Maroon Tide. 34-7, to seven, Galax with 2.15 left to play here in the half. Galax... With a no huddle here, Cole Pickett, freshman, hands it off. Blake Brown to the 45, 40, 35, 30, explodes to the 20, turns it up to the 10, 15, 5. <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> Touchdown, Kayla. <laughs> Regardless, he's in the end zone, right? 15, and they had to skip the He didn't go back. <laughs> he didn't go back. <laughs> God, man. Oh, 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 mercy. Good play. I guess I'm bummed because of Dougie. I guess. Yeah. We used boy, to Dougie doing that. that. <laughs> Wide open. He had nothing but space. I think me and you both you. could have gotten through that I one for sure. What. That was a good play right there. Oh, man. The PAT is up, and it is good. <laughs> Got it inside the left upright. 41-7, to seven, Maroon Tide with two minutes. Two minutes left to play here in the half. We'll step aside, take a timeout break, be back after this. Von Glenn Funeral Home of Galax and Von Glenn McGrady Chapel of Hillsville are proud sponsors of the Galax Maroon Tide Sports Programs. They've been serving the community since 1913 in your family's time of need, offering pre-planning, traditional services, and cremation. Call 276-236-2442 or 276-728-2041. Von Glenn Funeral Home and Von Glenn McGrady Chapel. We're there when you need us. I'm Hal Lepperson, voice of your Galax Maroon Tide, and here to tell you about my favorite restaurant in town, RJ's Pizza and Subs. They keep their menu as fresh as their ingredients, so you always have something new to try. Featuring the best pizza in town, mouth-watering pastas, subs to fill any size appetite, salads with an abundance of fresh vegetables, and an array of appetizers. R 6 Easter Drive in Galax, open Monday through Saturday for lunch and dinner. Dine with them today or for a takeout, call 276-236-8444. Order online at rjpizza.com. Back to Galax. And number 22 crosses the 30, the 33-yard line. They're on that return. Looks like Ethan Cook, the junior. 154 left to play here in the first half. Galax leading Bland 41 to 7. All Maroon Tide right now here, your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. Lane County will make a substitution. Play clock down to 12 here as they break the huddle. Waters dropped under center with a split backfield. And we'll hand it off here. Running play, head of steam. Through the line goes the ball carrier there for Bland County. Looks to be number seven, Samuel Bright, the sophomore. I don't know about you, but. Runs it to the 34 there. Galax has game. been pretty intense in this game. Uh, last week, uh, we had a team that we met that was very intense and Grayson trying to get to the playoffs, and I feel like Galax has really got an extra step tonight. Absolutely. Waters dropped under center. One step drop will sling it, and big hit. Oh, man, Josh Sperlin, he was right there. Lays the lick on the receiver there to the outside. Has a quick drop back and throw there, and hauled in by number 25 for Bland County. He took a shot. Cameron Jackson, the sophomore, no gain on that pass and catch. 
third down and nine coming up. We do have a timeout here on the field. And we can thank our other sponsor here now. And uh, again, you can call Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling for all of your heating and air needs. And uh, a good HVAC company here right in Freeze, Virginia. And the number to reach them is they sell train and York systems, 276-237-5156. 276-237-5156. And Kyle Realty. They've got uh, all kinds of great property on sale and uh, commercial property and you can find your next home, maybe a vacation home. 125 years of combined age and experience serving Southwest Virginia and the surrounding area. And uh, Kyle Realty and Auction, two convenient offices to serve you, one in Galax, Virginia, and one in Fancy Gap, the intersection of the Blue Ridge Parkway and Highway 52. You can't miss it. Right there along the Blue Ridge Parkway and a member of the National Association of Realtors, Virginia Association of Realtors, Southwest Virginia Association of Realtors, and multiple property listings and many, many great things. You can check it out at kyle-realty.com, kyle-realty.com. Great experience there for all your real estate needs, Kyle Realty. Go by and see him today. 108 left to play here in the first half. Looks like a Bland County penalty will bring it back here out of the timeout. Third down and 14. It's like a false start. So third and 14 for the Bears here as Waters will hand it off. And up the middle, powering forward goes the ball carrier, dragging defenders. That's Ritter out of the backfield with the carry to about the original line of scrimmage. He actually crossed it for a yard. It'll now be fourth down and nine. Pick up a five there on that running play for the Bears. 104 left to play here in the half. Galax leading Bland County 41-7. to And the Maroon Tide are going to use a timeout. We will stay right here. City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. And again, some of the most enjoyable experiences can be found right here uh, in Galax, Virginia. They are simple ones. A ride down a country road, a delicious meal, a glimpse into culture from long ago, and the music of the mountains. Some of the most simple pleasures that you can experience with a visit to Galax, Virginia. To learn more about the many fun things to do in Galax, stop by the Visitor Center at 110 East Grayson Street or visit us on the web at visitgalax.com. Proud sponsor of Maroon Tide Athletics and wish all of our sports teams the best of luck this season. So Galax leading Bland County 41-7 on your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. Winner of this game gets the winner of... Number three, George With, and number six, Perry McClure. Next week for a second round playoff game. So you win four games, you get to Salem to play for a state championship. That's how it works. And we're matched up with Region 1D, so we take on the top team out of that region in the state semifinals if we were able to advance that far. As Waters drops back, we'll heave it down the field. He's got an arm, and Caxton Vaughn keeps his feet oh. in bounds. No way. He got the feet down and picked that one off, but they say he was out of bounds. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Yeah, you saw it too. Which is better for wow. Galax, isn't it? It is. Because we get the ball different position, yep. but he placed both feet down. Yep. In the end. That was on fourth down. Blaine County electing to go for it, and they were unsuccessful. Couldn't convert. Turnover on downs. Galax takes over from the Bears. Looks like 34. Uh, check that. Yeah, 34 yard line. Coach is explaining to Caxton. He says, hey, you don't want to catch those going out of bounds like that on fourth down because you get better field position. That's right. Evans has the high snap, rolls out, looks right down the field, and incomplete. The outstretched fingertips of Cade Ashworth. If thrown that one away from him. Second down and 10 coming up here for Galax from the Bears' 34-yard line with 52 and a half seconds left to play here in the half. Galax 41, Bland County 7. As the tie break the huddle here, offset I formation, Evans will hand it off, and Blake Brown is pulled down from behind in the backfield by number 15 of the Bears. Looks like the blocking collapse 
time players fell down right in the path of Blake Brown. Had a jump, took a shot from Jonathan Bright, and no gain. Now third and ten. Evans drops back. We'll throw to the H back. That is Brendan Bryson with a catch at the 35, turns it up, gets out across the 30, down to the 25-yard line where he is upended. Now fourth down coming up here for Galax. Just and I'm going to say fourth and about two, maybe three yards. It's going to be fourth and two for Galax from right at the 25, ball in the near hash. Is that two or one, Hal? 25 to... It looks like maybe a long one and a half, maybe. Mm, I'd say so, yeah. Long one here. So fourth down coming up for the Tide. It'll be at the 25 of Bland County with 21 and a half seconds to play here in the first half. Galax 41, Bland County 7. Galax cruising right now. And we did lose senior tailback Dougie Peoples, and we don't know how long. We just hope for the best and hope it's not serious. That may keep him out for the rest of the season and duration of the playoffs. He just... Hope he can come back because we will need him down the stretch for sure. Twin receivers to the outside. One to the near side is Caxton Vaught as they send Blake Brown into the backfield. We'll throw into the flats. Catch made. Kobe Barnes, 20, 15, throws a stiff arm, dragging a defender as they chase him out of bounds. And around the 10-yard line, that is a first down run. Or check that pass and catch from Matt Evans. The junior to Colby Barnes, the tight end. So 13 seconds now left in the first half. Galax back in the fender's body shop into the red zone. We'll quickly get Evans dropped under center with an offset eye formation backfield and two wide receivers. Evans looking in zone, will throw incomplete. And it sails over the head of the intended target, Noah Hutchins. So if you're ever locked out of your car, you're in an accident, your vehicle tire remember fenders body shop and towing 24-hour roadside assistance give them a call today 276-233-7477 276-233-7477 second down and 10 from the 10 coming up here for galax with nine seconds left in the half galax 41 bland county seven as the tide break the huddle the receiver to the near side well uh, two receivers twin Receivers. It'll be Ashworth and Hutchins. Caxton fought out wide as Evans takes the high snap, rolls out, looks in zone, wide open. Ashworth, touchdown, Galax. Cade Ashworth, his second receiving score of the night. That'll give Galax the 47 to 7 lead with four seconds left in the half. And Maroon Tide will get set to kick the PAT. It'll be number 52, Peyton Price, to snap it. Holder is Josh Sperlin, and the kick is up, and it is through the uprights and good from Caxton Vault. Makes the score Galax 48, Bland 7. The ensuing kick coming up. Back to Galax football and WCGX after this. Some of the most enjoyable activities that can be experienced are simple ones. A ride down a country road, a delicious meal, a glimpse into culture from long ago, and the music of the mountains. These are some of the simple pleasures you can experience with a visit to Galax, Virginia. To learn more about the many fun things to do in Galax, stop by the Visitor Center at 110 East Grayson Street or visit us on the web at visitgalax.com. Visitgalax.com, that's visitgalax.com. We are a proud sponsor of Maroon Tide Athletics and wish all of our sports teams the best of luck and go Tide. Isom Collision and Custom Paint, your hometown specialist for collision repair and custom paint projects. With their computerized estimates, you will easily understand all of your car's needs. Their technicians are experienced and trained using today's technology. A frame machine with computerized measuring and two bank cycle paint booths enables them to get your vehicle back to factory condition. Isom Collision, located one mile from I-77 between Jeff Johnson Chevrolet and Horizon Rental. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Call 276-728-4330 to schedule an appointment today. That's 276-728-4330. Isom Collision and Custom Paint supporting Todd Pride. 
Aunt B's Restaurants are proud to sponsor the Galax High School Maroon Tide Sports Coverage on WCGX 1360 AM and online at WCGX.rocks. Aunt B's Restaurants really appreciate the communities that they serve. One way that Aunt B's has chosen to give back to the local area is by supporting local high school sports on the radio. They will also provide the Hog of the Week Award to the best defensive player of the week who hogs the ball the most. The winner of this reward will receive a $20 gift certificate to enjoy a delicious meal at Aunt B's, along with a Hog of the Week trophy. We appreciate Aunt B's restaurants for helping to bring the coverage of Galax High School Maroon Tide ball games to the airwaves of WCGX 1360 AM and online to WCGX.rocks. That's WCGX.rocks. WCGX.rocks. You can also listen on your smartphone to the TuneIn Radio. High Country Service Funerals and Cremations. Services designed just for you and your family for the lowest possible price. Because High Country Services offers you the most affordable services in funeral care, we are able to treat everyone equally without you having to negotiate from other funeral homes a more affordable price. It's a winning combination. Best service at the lowest price. Isn't it time you experience the difference in funeral and cremation care at High Country Services? Call us today at 276-236-9009 to see how we can save your family hundreds of dollars for a few and cremation care without jeopardizing service. Visit us at our web and Facebook pages. High Country Services is a proud sponsor of the Gaylax High School Marine Tide Athletic Program and a supporter to bring you the broadcast for your enjoyment. Are you prepared for the cold winter snap? How about... It's time to switch over to a reliable workforce like Train. It's hard to stop a train. Your authorized train dealer is Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling with $1,000 instant rebate on all new train systems. And we can help you see a 30% drop in your electric bill. Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling specializing in new installation and change outs of heat pumps and gas and oil furnaces. With free estimates, licensed in North Carolina and Virginia, call Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling today. 276-237. 5156 276 Hey, we welcome you back here, and Tim's talking about hunting. We <laughs> we had a long spot break right there uh, before halftime, and it was a short ensuing kick that was just uh, Bland County falling on it before Galax could recover. Galax doing a good job negating any return there. Um, so we have reached halftime. And uh, your halftime show is brought to you by Vaughn Wynn Funeral Home. For all your funeral arrangement needs, visit the folks at Vaughn Wynn Funeral Home today, 201 West Center Street in Galax. Give them a call at 276-236-2442. Taking care of your family, they're to comfort and make the process easy. Uh, easier on you and your family when you lose a loved one. Our family is serving your family in a time of need. So we're getting ready to check that scoring recap brought to you by Mountain Linen Services. And I uh, can update you here on the uh, second quarter touchdowns. Blake Brown adding rushing scores of 37 and 50 yards. And uh, Bland County was able to score a one-yard rushing touchdown. The quarterback sneak from Waters. And then Evans would complete a 10-yard pass to Cade Ashworth. Second time those two have hooked up for a touchdown here tonight. So Blake Brown has a total of four rushing touchdowns and Ashworth with two receiving scores. Touchdowns tonight are brought to you by the original Galax Tasty Freeze, nostalgic cruise-in local favorite established in 1978, serving up fabulous $5 daily specials, best dog baskets in town, yummy shakes and ice cream, everything from pizza and hamburger steaks to chicken and barbecue hot dog hamburger combos. Call in your tailgate special on your way to the game. Ready in 20 minutes, 276-236-5095. Located at South Main Street, Highway 89, Galax, Virginia. Let us do the cooking while you have the fun. All right, and uh, your first half scoring recap brought to you by Mountain Linen Services, serving Galax, the Twin Counties, and the surrounding area. Your full-service linen company specializing in towels, aprons, kitchen apparel, hospital gowns, dust control items like dust mops and doorway entrance mats, even do tablecloth rentals for weddings and other special occasions. So give us a call at 276 276- 
2360141 today. 2762360141. So again, Blake Brown with uh, four rushing scores and Kate Ashworth with two receiving scores. Blake Brown started off all of the scoring about midway through the first quarter at the 716 mark with a four yard rushing touchdown. He would add a 30 yard rushing score. Uh, at the 419 mark of the first quarter to make it 13 to nothing. PAT was no good. Uh, Evans would complete a pass to Caxton Vault, 15 yards at the 210 mark of the first quarter to make it 20 to nothing. And then Pickett would complete a pass to Ashworth for 18 yards to make it 27 to nothing. Galax, that was inside of a minute left to play in the first quarter. Then Blake Brown, a 37 yard rushing score at the 929 mark of the second quarter. And. Um, that made it 34 to nothing, Galax. Deep in the second quarter, Jacob Waters would have the quarterback sneak from one yard out to make it 34 to seven. That was the first and only Bland County score. Then Blake Brown, 50-yard touchdown run at the 201 mark of the second to make it 41 to seven. And then Evans to Kate Ashworth from 10 yards out on a pass and catch. That was late in the second quarter at the four-second mark to make it 48-7 to Maroon Tide. Gay lacks 297 yards of total offense on 29 plays. It's good for 10 yards per play. Bland has 60 yards on 32 plays, good for 2 yards per play. 112 passing yards for the Maroon Tide, 9 of 13 through the air, 3 touchdowns. Bland County, 17 yards, 3 of 9 passing, no touchdowns, and no interceptions thrown. Rushing for Galax, 185 yards on 16 carries, good for 11 and a half yards per play. Bland County has 43 yards on 23 carries, good for two yards per rush. And uh, penalties right now, Galax has one for 10 yards, Bland one for five. Turnovers, each team has one, a fumble. Bland has spilled the ball twice, and Galax recovered one of those fumbles. Galax spilling it once, and the Bears recovering that lone fumble. Galax has no punts in that first half. Bland County four for a 23-yard average. Time of possession controlled by the Bears, 15-20, Galax 8-36. First downs right now, Galax with 13, seven on the ground attack, six through the air. No first downs from penalties in that first half. Bland has five first downs, three on the ground attack, two through the air, and zero from penalties. Third downs, Bland is two of nine, Galax one of four. Fourth downs, the Bears are one of three. Galax is three for three. Individual numbers, Evans, seven of 11, 91 yards and two touchdowns. Cole Pickett, two for two, 21 yards and a touchdown. For Bland County, Jacob Waters, three of nine, passing for 17 yards. Rushing, Galax, Blake Brown, 12 carries, 176 yards, 14.7 yard average, and four rushing touchdowns. Matt Evans, three of seven, or excuse, yeah, uh, three rushes, seven yards, and 2.3 yard average per rush. And uh, then it's Dougie Peoples. His only carry tonight went for two yards, and he went out with a serious ankle injury, hurting his right ankle, and hasn't and will not return uh, in this game here tonight. Rushing for Bland County, Ethan Cook has seven carries for 13 yards. It's good for a two-yard average. Ty Ritter, four carries for 11 yards, three-yard average. Jacob Waters, seven carries for 10 yards and a touchdown, 1.4-yard average. Samuel Bright, five carries for 10 yards, good for two yards per rush. And Cameron Jackson, zero carries for minus uh, one yard on the stat sheet. Receiving for Galax, Kate Ashworth, three catches, 40 yards, 13.3 yard average, and two touchdowns. It looks a lot like um, Jimmy Graham here tonight and uh, not getting many uh, yards, but uh, putting up those touchdowns on the stat sheet. Caxton Vault, three catches, 33 yards, 11 yard average, and a touch. Kobe Barnes with a catch for 15 yards. Blake Brown, one for 15. Brandon Bryson, a catch for nine yards. Hutchins has been targeted but hasn't been able to haul in a reception tonight. Uh, receiving for Bland County, Ty Ritter, two catches, 17 yards. Jackson, one catch for zero yards. Defensively, the leading tackler is Keaton Beeman with seven tackles and assisting on a tackle for a loss. Walker Bobbitt with four stops, along with Noah Hutchins. Barnes has three and a half tackles and a tackle for a loss. 
Blake Brown and Christian Brown with three tackles each, and both players each have a tackle for a loss. Levi Reynolds, two stops. Caxton Vault, Lee Peoples, one and a half tackles. Peoples assisting on a tackle for a loss. Josh Sperlin with a tackle and a tackle for a loss. And Ethan Robinson assisting on a stop here in the first half of the Maroon Tide. Caxton Vault is six of seven on PATs. Ethan Buchanan, one for one for Bland County. And Waters, three punts, 55 yards, 18-yard average. And Kendrick Moorhead has a punt for 37 yards for Bland. Punt returns, Caxton Vault for Galax, two run backs, 35 yards. It's a 17-and-a-half yard average. Blake Brown, one run back for zero yards. Hutchins, one for minus two. Kick returns for the Tide, Caxton Vault has a return for eight yards. And kick returns for Bland, Ethan Cook, five run backs. For 68 yards, Samuel Bright, one run back for 23 yards, and Corey Harden has one for six yards. So that is your first half stats brought to you by Mountain Linen Services. When we come back, it will be your Twin County Regional Hospital difference maker and keys to the second half. Stay tuned. Back after this. The City of Galax Parks and Recreation Department, located at 601 South Main Street, Galax, would like to invite everyone to stop by and enjoy the many new programs and activities we have to offer for kids, adults, and seniors. The 2017 Fall and Winter Program brochure can be downloaded at galax-parksrec.com. That's galax-parksrec.com, or you can pick up a printed copy at the Galax Recreation Center. We look forward to seeing everyone come out and participate in our many fit classes and programs. Again, we are located at 601 South Main Street, Galax, Virginia, in Feltz Park, phone 276-236-3218. That's 276-236-3218. Treat yourself to a meal at the original Galax Tasty Freeze. Established in 1978, the Galax Tasty Freeze is a nostalgic cruise-in and local favorite, serving up fabulous $5 daily specials, the best dog basket in town, and yummy shakes and ice cream. The Galax Tasty Freeze has everything from pizza and hamburger steaks to chicken and barbecue and hot dog and hamburger combos. So call in your tailgate special on the way to 276-236-5095. 276-236-5095. The Galax Tasty Freeze on South Main Street, Highway 89 in Galax, Virginia. Galax Tasty Freeze. Let us do the cooking while you have the fun. D&H Heating and Cooling, celebrating over 45 years of service. We specialize in high-efficiency, energy-saving heat pumps, gas and oil furnaces with 24-7 service and repair. Licensed and insured, we now offer professional duct cleaning. D&H Heating and Cooling, 971 Kelton Pike, Woodlawn, Virginia. Call us today at 276-236-3829. That's 276-236-3829. Kyle Realty and Auction, one of the oldest real estate firms in the Twin Counties with over 125 years of combined agent experience to assist you in locating that perfect property. We even have insurance for your auto, home, motorcycle, farm, and commercial property. Kyle Realty and Auction has two convenient locations to serve you in Galax and Fancy Gap. Find property listings at kyle-realty.com or call our Galax office at 276-236-6134 or Fancy Gap at 276-721. 4994. Go Maroon Tide. Oh no! What do I do now? Hey buddy, no worries. Fenders can help. Fenders body shop and towing is available and on call when you need them. So if you are ever in an accident or your vehicle just won't start, then remember Fenders Body Shop and Towing. Fenders provides 24-hour roadside assistance and have been in business for 38 years. Fast, easy, and convenient service and a name you can trust. Give Fenders Body Shop and Towing a call at 276-233-7407. That's 276-233-7407. And visit our website, FendersBodyShop.com. That's FendersBodyShop.com. Or stop by the shop at 103 North Meadows Street. Street in Galax. We do collision repair work and have a nice selection of used cars. So come see us and tell us you heard it on the radio. Chip Highway 601 in
National Tailgate sponsor of the award-winning Maroon Tide Sports Network. Tune in every Friday night during our pregame show for your chance to compete in the Chick-fil-A Trivia Challenge to win the Chick-fil-A Tailgate Package. Feeds up to eight people. Pregame show starts at 6.30 p.m. Chick-fil-A Highway 601 in Mount Terry. Eat both chicken. Roll Tide! Back to Galax football, your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. Galax leading Bland County 48-7 at the half. Now for your Twin County Regional Hospital difference maker and keys to the second half uh, and the injury update. For all the times you need care without the wait, there's Twin County Urgent Care, whether it's care for the flu, infections, minor illnesses, sprains, cuts, or burns. Twin County Urgent Care will make sure you and your family can easily and quickly get the care you need to feel better. Have you covered seven days a week, Monday through Friday, 8-7 to seven, and 9-3 to three on the weekends? No appointments needed. Visit TCRH.org or just walk in at our location, 961 East Stewart Drive in Galax, next to McDonald's Twin County Urgent Care. We have you covered. Tim, Difference Maker and keys to the second half here, brought to you by Twin County Regional Hospital. Well, Difference Maker, you'd have to say, in my, in my mind, there's two good ones. Ashworth has done really good catching uh, several passes. But I would say Blake Brown stepping into the role that he had to step into, he's performed very well. We Admirably. know he we know he can, but uh, he did really good. So that's a big difference maker. Uh, Keys second half, no more injuries. Uh, yeah. It'd be nice not to have any more if we could and get through it and uh, maybe get some um, of the younger guys some snaps just so they get the feel of it and and get out of this game without any more. Significant injuries. Significant I injuries. So. I like the way the defense is playing. That's a big difference maker to me. I think they really stepped up strong after Dougie went out. And I don't know, they just came in. They closed quickly on a lot of tackles. They're making their stops here tonight, wrapping up, and laying the lumber, too, with some big hits. So I like the way that they, they're closing in on ball carriers and receivers here tonight. Yeah. And getting pressure, too, on the quarterback. Oh, a short kick here from Bland County to start the second half. And we'll see who came out of there with the football. It was a pooch kick, though, like it was. onside, but much like Galax's it. kick to end the uh, first half, and I believe Galax got on it there, and we'll have it uh, first and ten, moving left to right across your radio dial from its own 43-yard line. As we just get underway here, the start of the third quarter, score updates to pass along to you right now. Narrows is easily in control. Uh, and a 35 to nothing lead at the moment. Uh, Giles is only up 14 to seven on Fort Chiswell, but the biggest one right now is seven to nothing. Perry McClure over George With late in the second quarter. So Galax will try a running play to the near side, and it will go for a loss of yardage back to the 40. Loss of three, so second down and 13 coming up here for the Maroon Tide. Looks like Keaton Beeman now checks into the game at tailback with Pickett under center and another running play Keaton Beeman will have his second touch of the ball game and will take it past the original line of scrimmage down to the 46 yard line of Galax and that will be now third and looks like seven coming up here so a gain of six Keaton Beeman with a running play to the numbers near side ball in the near hash as the tide break the huddle Third down and seven coming up here. Receiver out wide is Gage Cook. To the near side is Lundy. As Pickett takes a snap from under center. Fakes, now rolls out, dumps it off, and there's Brendan Bryson wide open in the flats and a big hit upfield. And laying the lumber right there with a good block. Springing that one is Kate Ashworth. Allows Brandon Bryson to pick up the first down and way more. Into the Bears territory and mark it down at the 39 of Bland County on that pass and catch from Cole Pickett. Good play action, dump off there to the H back, Brendan Bryston. What do you think of that, Tim? Excellent play right there. Good movement to the left on the run fake and then swing around with that boot. Perfect. Now Crowder will take the handoff here. It will be pulled down. And may have got a yard out of that with a running play to the near side numbers for Brandon Crowder, his first touch of the contest. Give him a yard, second down and nine coming up for Galax from the Bland County 38. Ball in the near hash with 9.55 to play in the third quarter. Galax has a 48-7 lead as Pickett drops under center with a nine formation backfield. We'll hand it off, running play, and this time it's Sawyers, number 21, 
the ball carrier for the Maroon Tide. Twisted to a stopping point. And he is brought down just shy of the 30. The carry to about the 32-yard line. That's where they're going to mark it. Third down coming up now for the Maroon Tide. Third and three, Tim. Yeah, I think just another power run up the middle will be good. Oh, yeah, just keep uh, getting these yardage on the ground attack here. And uh -oh. Sawyers takes a big hit after hurtling a defender. Ritter will stop him short of the first down and uh, may have got a yard there. I think it's going to set up fourth down and two at the, about the 31-yard line here for Galax. And you are in four down territory. I do expect he likes to go for it out of field goal range. Pickett dropped under center. Fourth down and two. Handed off. Sawyers coughs up the football. Around the 30-yard line. We'll see who recovered there. And really Sawyers doesn't. fumbled uh, the last time uh, against Bland County. He didn't play last week, but the last time he was in the backfield, he fumbled against the Bears. Quite honestly, that was a moot point. Um, even though he fumbled, if it was recovered, it was one yard difference because yeah. we didn't get the first down anyway. Absolutely. So, so the Bears right. will take over. Turnover on downs there for Galax, but that's it. Sawyers did have a 39-yard rushing touchdown, but he did fumble the last time that he was oh, out there got... getting some game action against Bland County two weeks ago and fumbles here tonight. Very eerily similar to that same play. 8.35 left to go here. Clock is rolling. Bland County takes over from right around the 30-yard line of Galax. Or check that, Bland County. Oh, wow. And a running play here. It is Bright. Gets into the secondary before he is finally tripped up. And that will be a nice positive pickup there for the sophomore Samuel Bright of nine yards. Second down and one coming up for Bland County from its old 40-yard line with 8.05 left to play here in the third quarter. Galax 48, Bland County 7. Bears break the huddle, split backfield with a receiver out wide. Waters dropped under center, will pitch it back to the ball carrier. And a running uh -huh. play, and he's loose. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Bland County. That is a big, big time run there from Ethan Cook, the junior. Slamming it up the middle there. And was able to slot out of one tackle. And exploded well, into the secondary and took it the distance. The tackle he slides out of was, I think Beeman was trying to tackle him, but he was tackling the ball instead of tackling him. Trying he to rip another one free. free. Right. And he was gone off to the races. Good play there for Blaine County there. Something the Bears needed for sure. 7.45 left to play here in the third quarter. Blaine County will attempt the PAT. Looks like Waters will kick this one. Oh, low oh. snap. He'll pick it up off the turf here. Run it to the outside numbers. To the five. Diving for the pile line. And he's going to be out of bounds just shy of successfully converting that two-point conversion, which is really going to – they were looking for one there. And it failed on them all the way. 7.45 left to go here in the third quarter. Galax leading Bland County as the score remains 48-13. to be back with the ensuing kickoff after this. Mountain Linen Services is your full service linen serving Galax, the Twin Counties, and the surrounding area. Mountain Linen Services specializes in towels, aprons, gowns, kitchen apparel, dust control items like mops, and doorway entrance mats. We even do tablecloth rentals for weddings and special occasions. Give Mountain Linen Services a call at 276-236-0141. That's 276-236-0141. 276-236-0141. Mountain Linen Services, a proud sponsor of Galax Maroon Tide Athletics. Athletics and our local sports broadcast. Tell them your WCGX sports team sent you. The colder months are upon us. It's time to take your vehicle to Twin County Tire and Automotive today. Let their knowledgeable and friendly staff winterize your vehicle and get you a new set of tires for the winter months to keep you safe. Twin County Tire and Automotive is your locally owned and operated full service facility offering all major brands for all makes and models. Trustworthy, honest, and fair, Twin County Tire and Automotive will give you the best deal on tires. Twin County Tire and Automotive, downtown Galax, right across from the police department. Call 276-236-0007. That's 276-236-0007. Back 
Back to the action and a return here by Caxton Vault. And he's up the field, 45 past midfield, 45-40. Walking the tightrope into Bland County territory goes Caxton Vault with a return to the outside there. That's an electrifying return right there for Gagalax. And our man, Caxton Vault. Yeah, showcasing his bounce again. again huh? <laughs> yeah, boy. So 7.29 left to play here in quarter number three. Galax 48, Bland County 13. And I don't think so. Let's see where they're going to mark the football here. It is a penalty against Galax. That will bring it all the way back to the 39 of the Bears. So wipe away that big return. And that must have been a oh, bummer. Block in the back or holding penalty there from the spot of the foul. So usually about a 10-yard penalty there and bring it back to the 39 of Galax, I should say. And Evans, Ooh. under duress, hit as he throws. To the near side intended receiver was Gage Cook. It is incomplete. Second down and 10 coming up for Galax from its own 39. So, yeah, check that. Galax starting in its own territory instead of the Bears' territory. Yeah, very close to a um, intentional grounding. It barely got back to the line of scrimmage. I'm not that right. as uh, close on the high school as I should be. But, <laughs> so, but uh, I've been getting bugged a little bit by our favorite listener in Dobson. She had uh, no flags for the second half and uh, run the ball more is what she said. There you go. All right. There's Crowder with a running play walking the tightrope down the far sidelines. It's not a bad pick up there for Brandon Crowder on the carry there for Galax. So that'll be a first down. They're going to give it to him. Gave him a very generous spot. 49-yard line of the Maroon Tide here. Galax moving left to right across your radio dial with a 48-13 lead here over the Bears. 6-13 left to play here in the third quarter. First and 10, Maroon Tide after the... 10-yard pickup there from Brandon Crowder. Now the officials are talking something over here right at midfield. You know Coach Dixon's getting frustrated about this. He likes to get his team off the field as quick as possible. You got that right. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's a cold <laughs> night. No kidding. I Austin's. think everybody doesn't want the refs having any kind of confidence. Yeah, exactly. And lost his... Uh, senior leader Dougie Peoples. Oh, don't, thing. don't know how long though, but what? Christy says, win the game for Dougie. And win the game for Dougie. Win the whole season for him. How's that? There you go. State championship. <laughs> Evans drops back, looks to throw, and Gage Cook battling with a defender, and he pulls it in. Gage Cook with a catch to the 35 yard line of the Bears. Under wow, heavy coverage there. Throw. Wasn't it? That was dangerous. <laughs> Into a tight coverage. window for yeah, sure. Yeah, boy. He got it in there, though. Yes, he did. Thread Those the are the kinds that make you have a ton later in the night yeah. <laughs> if you're a coach. <laughs> no kidding. Why did he throw that ball? Yeah. <laughs> they look back on film. They'll talk about it for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Five and a half minutes left to play here in the third quarter. Evans dropped under center. Two-step drop. Looks right. Now throws left. And it is caught. Hauled in there by the receiver to the outside. That's Lundy. And able to pick up the first down after sliding out of a couple of tackles. They finally pulled him down. He about uh, broke that. If that yes, he did. If he doesn't get that second tackle, he's gone. There's nothing yeah. but green ahead of him. And curled and tried to turn it upfield there. So, pass and catch to the Bears' 25-yard line. Ball in the far hash. As Galax will break the huddle here with 4.55 left to play in quarter number three. Twin receivers to the near side for the Maroon Tide. One receiver out wide. There's a snap. Evans rolls out, looks right, will throw, and it is intercepted. And making the interception there is Ty Ritter. Standing right in that passing lane, just jumped up and come down with it. And He's done some risky ones, and that one came yeah. back to bite him, didn't it? Not a bad interception return by Ritter out across the 35 to about the 37, maybe the 38-yard line for Bland County. Bears will have it starting first and 10 here in their own territory. So that didn't work out that time there for Evans threading the needle and Ritter standing right there. Jumped up to haul in that interception 
And now the Bears will take over here. That's a good defensive stop for Bland County. Galax driving down the field. 431 left to play here in the third quarter. Galax 48, Bland County 13. Bland County's doing a good job. Uh, definitely improved from the last performance here against Galax for sure. Uh, they come out with some fight. I know they're still down, but they're still fighting, which is really admirable for them at this point. So, And Galax giving them a little gift there with that turnover and then that missed tackle is another gift that they gave uh, at that last drive for them. So see what Galax does. Oh, we got an injury timeout here. We got yeah, we do. Blank I thought there was there. an injured bear over there um, after that it's interception right at the return. Side line. Yes, it is. I wonder if that's Ritter. I, I think he took a shot there on that return. Let's see. I'll, I'll be amazed if you can pull it off there while he's laying. <laughs> it is Ritter, number yeah, 44. Yeah. Right. I thought he took a shot over there. A big hit yeah. there from the Maroon Tide. So four and a half minutes left to play here in the third quarter. Kalax 48, Bland County 13. And the Bears will take over here from their own 37 after the interception. And a little pitch play, run to the near side, and Blake Brown missed the tackle there. He's trying to hit him hard. And Galax will come in here and clean it up. Host of tacklers there. Looks like it was led by Colby Barnes, I believe. Oh, that's Crowder, number 40, bursting through. Barnes was in there as well, and several other Maroon Tide players to clean up after Brown missed the tackle. Boy, he tried to hit high right there, and it backfired on him. But it only goes for a yard there on that running play to the near side for Bland County. Looks like number 25 may have had that carry. Nope, 22. Looks like Ethan Cook. So second down and nine for the Bears. 335 left to play here in the third quarter. And ball is on the 38-yard line of Bland County. And it looks like a penalty here against the Bears. Looks like false start will bring it back to the 33 yard line. Second down and 14 for Bland County. Bears will need to cross the 47 yard line. Their own 47. And let's see here. Did, Bad snap, possibly. Looks like Galax may have recovered there. He did. I don't know what happened there. I didn't like see. a bad snap, I think, for Bland County. And Galax recovers right there at the 33-yard line. The tide will be moving left to right. They haven't scored a touchdown here in this third period. We'll see if they can add one here deep in this quarter. Um, let's see, we got a timeout here called <laughs> on the field. <laughs> Boy, it's dragging on. It, it is. I thought we were going to hit turbo speed the second half. <laughs> I know. Seems like everything's been slowing it down. Sure thing. All right, so we got Marion 14, Virginia High 7. That's a halftime score. And let's see, Narrows 42, Rural Retreat 0 at the half. And Giles leading Fort Chiswell 14 to 7 at halftime. And we'll try to see what the uh, George Wythe score is. Looks like Glenver's leading 10 to nothing. Chill Howie 28, Castlewood 0. And we'll check on George Wythe if we can get a score update there. Last we heard was late in the second. Perry McClure, the sixth seed. Pulling the upset with a seven to nothing lead. Bland County though fumbled and Galax will take over me a running play here for the Maroon Tide. This is Nick Sawyers, not Santana Sawyers this time on the carry for Galax. And a running play to the 28 yard line of the Bears. Goes for five yards. Second down and five coming up. And it's actually number 82 for the Maroon Tide. Sawyers. 
As they see Gage Cook in motion to the left. Offset eye formation. Pickett takes a snap from under center, hands it off to Sawyers, makes a cut, and gets to the 20 yard line where he will be twisted to a stopping point. But he's got the Galax first down. Another good run there from Sawyers. Positive pickup. 208 left to play here in the third quarter. Galax leading Bland 48 to 13. Where'd you go and what'd you find out? Oh, uh, I was doing some different kind of work. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. First and 10, Galax from the Bland County 21 as Pickett drops the throw. And oh. we'll dump it off in complete Butterfingers. It's bobbled and dropped there by Brendan Bryson on a high throw, though, from Cole Pickett. It was actually preacher work I was doing. Preacher work? Yeah. Uh -oh. Somebody was trying to move into the community, and I was talking to somebody about a job for him. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You, you got wear many different hats. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what I was about to say. 115 left to go here in the third quarter. Second down and 10, Galax. From the Bland County 21, ball on the far hash. Running play here goes Nick Sawyers. Slamming it forward, scurrying up the middle. Found a running lane and is taken down at around the 15-yard line. As we dip inside of a minute left to play in quarter number three. It'll be third down coming up here for Galax. Third and three. That was a seven-yard pickup for Sawyers as Brandon Crowder checks into the game at tailback with an offset eye formation. They send Cook in motion to the left. Extra blocking support there on that left side. Here goes Brandon Crowder powering the ball forward, slamming it up the middle, and he's got a Galax first down inside the 10-yard line. Galax back in the Fender's Body Shop and Towing Rand Zone. Fender's Body Shop and Towing. If you're ever locked out of your car, your vehicle won't start, you got a flat tire, Go by and see, uh, or give Fender's Body Shop and Towing a call. 24-hour roadside assistance for Fender's Body Shop and Towing. Always on call when you need them. 276-233-7477. 276-233-7477. Galax with another running play. Carries it to the Bears' six-yard line. And that's where the Maroon Tide will have it. Second down and goal coming up here. When we come back to Galax football here on WCGX, stay tuned. Keys Incorporated has been serving our community for 25 years with prompt professional service. Keys Incorporated has complete septic service like pump and repair, and we manufacture septic tanks. See us for excavation and land clearing, ditching and ponds, site prep, installation of new tanks and field lines, and sewer line repairs. Keys Incorporated has same-day service to commercial residential customers in Galax and surrounding area. Call Keys Incorporated at 276-236-9277. That's 276-236-9277. Twin County Regional Healthcare in Galax, Virginia offers a variety of superior rehabilitative services, both inpatient and outpatient, for patients who've suffered serious illness or injury. The highly trained physical, occupational, and speech therapists provide quality therapy along with a nurturing atmosphere. Their goal to restore their patients to full productive lives. The rehabilitation services of Twin County Regional Healthcare in Galax are a Duke LifePoint affiliate. For more info, check them out online at tcrh.org. That's tcrh.org. tcrh.org. Got a ball game on Saturday. How do we? All right, well, NC State. back here. Going to the NC, NC State. State. Oh. Play action rollout, looking in zone, and it is... Colt, oh my goodness, what a catch as he pulls that one in. Oh my goodness, keeping the feet in bounds, bobbled it. And, oh wow, Kate Ashworth, how in the world did he come down with that? It was tall, but he reached up yes, there. Yes, he did. Go, go, gadget arms. In the back <laughs> corner of the end zone here, the near side. Unbelievable. And the PAT is up and good. Kate Ashworth, his third receiving touchdown tonight. Unreal catch right there. That's good concentration, too. Working that back corner boundary there in the end zone. And he comes down with the football. 
They're giving Galax a, a 55 to 13 lead with the extra point good. What do you think? What's that? He might be, he might be vying for a pizza. He might be. <laughs> yes, sir. Way to step up here in this passing game tonight. I've been really impressed. They've done really good. That's they good. have. I hope they keep it up. 11:46 left to play here in the ball game. Galax 55, Lane County 13. Kate Ashworth. With good concentration, bobbling it and tucking it in tight for the touchdown in the back left corner here to the near side of the end zone. Beautiful play. I think Cole Pickett there was able to find him on that toss. Galax will kick it back to Bland County here. The ensuing kick is away. And it'll be returned from around the 15 to the 20, 25, making a cut. Is the return man gets to the 30-yard line. He will be upended. So that's where Bland County will have it, moving left to right across your radio dial here. Galax 55, Bland County 13. So Galax not able to score in that entire third quarter. But got something here early on in the fourth. Had it second down and goal there. So that one works for six yards on that pass and catch to Kate Ashworth. Here's Blaine County, first and 10 from its own 30 on the far hash. Quarterback dropped under center. That's Waters. will pitch it to the ball carrier. And at Samuel Bright to the near side hash marks where he will be taken down. No gain. Second down and 10 coming up for the Bears here. Good play there by Levi Reynolds coming in and closing in on that side from the far side of the field. Excellent play there. Yeah, able to close and bring down that sophomore ball carrier. Samuel Bright, he does have a lot of speed. He's pretty quick out of the backfield for Bland County. 55, seven, or 55 to 13 in favor of the Galax Maroon Tide as Water scans the defense here. We've got a whistle and a timeout called. We'll wow. take one with them. You're listening to Galax Football on WCGX back after this. Blue Ridge Tire and Galax supports all high school athletes and protected while traveling. So let Blue Ridge Tire take care of all your automotive needs. New tires, tire maintenance, tune-ups, inspections to overall maintenance. You'll appreciate the great service, affordability, and dedication of Blue Ridge Tire, your hometown garage. Chosen number one in the Twin Counties for auto repair and oil changes. Call Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive, 276-238-0011. That's 276-238-0011. Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive in Gaylock. Make tailgating, team celebrations, parties, and other occasions extra special with Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is the easy choice, offering a selection of fresh, delicious food and party platters for your occasion and guests. Chick-fil-A ensures that your order is correct, ready to be picked up or delivered. Put your game face on and score big at your next tailgate party event with crowd-pleasing favorites from your tailgating headquarters. Chick-fil-A, Highway 601 in Mount Airy. Chick-fil-A, eat both chicken. Back to the action, and Bland County tried a running play there with Ethan Cook, and he was dropped in the backfield. So that will lose a yard for the Bears. Back to their own 29-yard line, ball in between the hash marks. It'll be third down and 11. Ten minutes left to play here in the ball game. Galax 55, Bland County 13. Quarterback Waters dropped under center, has a snap, will turn, will hand it off. Ethan Cook will have another carry here. No gain. Fourth down and 11 coming up for the Bears. I believe they'll go for it. What do you think? Uh, I think so, yeah. Looks like Waters back over to the sidelines to get the next play call. Do have the running clock. Nine and a half minutes left to play. 20 seconds on the play clock. Ball at the 29-yard line. Fourth down and 11 coming up for Bland County. Looks like they're already warming up the buses somewhere. Doesn't yep, it? it sure does. Split backfield, a receiver to the near side. will send a man in motion to the right. Give it to him on the jet sweep, and he's going to be hit hard at the 30-yard line after a gain of a yard. That is number 15 for Bland County. And that is Jonathan, Jonathan Bright. Bright. Yes, sir. 
And number 52 able to take him down. The long snapper for Galax, Peyton Price. And they're playing a little defense now. 8.40 left to play in the ball game. Galax with a 55 to 13 lead. And we'll take over here, the turnover on downs from the 30 of the Bears. Ball in the near hash. They'll send Cook in motion to the left as Evans has a snap, turns, hands it off to Sawyers for the running play. And we'll pick up just a yard to the 29. Santana Sawyers, there's the ball carrier. Second down and nine coming up here for Galax. Just so everybody hears this, this is wild, but I know everybody knows, but you've got Keaton Beeman's a freshman, Sawyers is a freshman, and you've got, let's see, where am I Nick at? Sawyers, too. And then you've got Cole Pickett's a freshman. What was the other one I was looking at here? Meanwhile, Sawyers Keaton. running play 20, 15, 10, and gets shoved out of bounds. And a running play to the numbers near side, Santana Sawyers, that will pick up the first down and will set Galax up first and goal from right around the eight yard line, I believe, is where they're gonna spot it. Back in the Fender's Body Shop and Towing Red Zone, if you're ever locked out of your car in an accident, your vehicle won't start, or you got a flat tire, remember Fender's Body Shop and Towing, 24 hour roadside assistance, call 276-233-7477 today. 276-233-7477. Actual spot will be the nine. So Galax has it inside the Bears. 10-yard line here. First and goal. After a nice running play from Santana Sawyers. Yeah, a lot of freshmen, Tim. Yeah. And uh, Kobe Barnes, Keaton Beeman get most of the playing time out of those freshmen for sure. Um, and really anchoring that defense uh, from that linebacker and safety position. And, and then again, you got, you're got you talking about the depth, I know, at running yeah. back. But Santana Sawyers and then Nick Sawyers right down here. Right. Uh, the freshman has had some carries tonight. And then Brandon Crowder, too. Yeah, right. And uh, a, fr a sophomore there. But, yeah. but I'm telling you, that's amazing how many. It just got to show we're going to have some many years of good players because these guys are young out there. Oh, yeah. So Santana Sawyers in the backfield here for the Maroon Tide with twin receivers to the near side. They're going to hand it off to Sawyers. We'll drag a defender to about the six, maybe the seven-yard line there. I don't know. I think he got just a yard. Didn't get a good spot. Wow. They put him back at the eight. They did. <laughs> well. So that's only going to go for a yard there. Second and goal. Thought he got a little bit more, maybe two, two and a half at least, right? I thought so. Yeah. 6.35 left to play in the game. Galax 55, Bland 13. Galax in no hurry. Play clock inside of five seconds. Here's a throw. Gage Cook with a catch at the 10 to the 5. Dragging oh, defenders the end zone to the pylon. He's got to have a touchdown there. Give it to him. Come on. What? Come on. What an effort. The pylon fell. <laughs> oh, That's crazy. Man. Pass and catch there. I thought he was in for one. sure. <laughs> Give it to him oh, for man. effort. Yeah. <laughs> hey, for effort, right? That's right. No, he looked like he was in for sure. Oh, well, I his thought so. Upper body, I didn't see his knee go down, and his whole upper body fell on the pylon, like you said. Oh, yeah. So at the one-yard line, ball in the near hash, Evans dropped under center. On third and goal, with Sawyers in the backfield, they send Cook in motion to the left. Evans with a snap, hands off. Sawyers untouched, end zone. Give him six. His second rushing touchdown of the season for the little guy. And that makes the score 61 to 13 Galax. Trenton Holiday into the end zone there for Galax. 5-5 five, five freshman Santana Sawyers. He is very elusive, I can tell you that, when he holds on to the football. Right. <laughs> he can be a good player. He'll learn from it. The extra point is up and good for Galax. And that makes the score 62 to 13. 537 left to play in the game. Your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. Back after this. Kyle Realty and Auction, one of the
oldest twin counties with over 125 years of combined agent experience to assist you in locating that perfect property. We even have insurance for your auto, home, motorcycle, farm, and commercial property. Kyle Realty and Auction has two convenient locations to serve you in Galax and Fancy Gap. Find property listings at kyle-realty.com or call our Galax office at 276-236-6134 or Fancy Gap at 276-728-4994. Go Maroon Town! Are you prepared for the cold winter snap? How about for that electric heating bill? Now's the time to switch over to a York system from Virginia, Carolina Heating and Cooling. All new York systems receive a 10-year labor warranty. That's right, a 10-year labor warranty. Plus lifetime compressor warranties on high energy saving systems. And we can help you see a third. 30% drop. Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling specializes in new installation and change outs of heat pumps and gas and oil furnaces. Offering free estimates, licensed in North Carolina and Virginia. Give Virginia Carolina Heating and Cooling a call today at 276-237-5156. 276-237-5156. Back to the action. And... 5.03 left to play. Running clock and a return to about the 22-yard line for the Bears. That's where they're going to have it in between the hash marks here, moving left to right across your radio dial. So Galax going to move on here tonight to the second round of the playoffs, and hopefully we'll have number, number one back in uniform next week. And hopefully it's not a serious injury. 62-13, to 13, pitch play and a run to the – Outside numbers goes the ball carrier for Bland County. Looks like um, number 25 is Cameron Jackson, the sophomore. And it'll be second down and eight coming up here for Bland County. Carries that one to the 24-yard line, ball in the far hash. They like 62, Bland 13. 4.15 left to play here. The Bears will get into formation. Waters scans the defense, drops to under center with a split backfield. Pitch play, and they're going to run it in between the hash marks up the middle. The draw play, slamming the ball forward is number 15, Jonathan Bright. It'll be third down coming up here for Bland County, third and five. That running play going for three yards. Bears break the huddle. Third and five here from the 28-yard line of Bland County. As they're going to fake the pitch and a run to the outside. And the ball carrier swallowed up, may have lost a couple there. So outside fourth, runs do not work well against the Scalax defense. No, it's been that way all year long. Quick. It doesn't matter if we 